Good morning everyone, I'm Alana and this is Marty. And today we are streaming Assassin's Creed Origins. Games come out, game comes out on Friday. Woo! And uh, there's a lot of stuff we're not allowed to show you, but we will show you as much as we can, basically. Um, I've played around 50 hours of this game. I was game. about to say, I, th I, th I think you finished it. I did finish the game. I can't talk about any of that kind of stuff though. Um, we will have our review up on Thursday for you guys as well. We can say the embargo, it's Thursday, 4 a.m. Pacific. We Pacific. Don't know why it's that, but. It would be um, weird if it was like 4.12. I've had embargoes like that. That were 4.12? <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I will be reading your comments on IGN, Twitch, Mixer, and with the hashtag IGN, please. Why? And we're, gonna, we're, trying to, we're keeping this relatively spoiler free. I mean, clearly there are some spoilers just by virtue of your seeing the game in motion. If that counts as a spoiler. I don't think it very, does, very We're going to do very, very well. little story content. Uh, <laughs> we won't spoil any cool reveals or anything. No, I mean, we're not allowed to. No. Um, so we'll just do cool uh, I feel quest like we, stuff, show we, you a bunch of gameplay. I feel like we could do some vague uh, vague impressions of things. Uh, first off, uh, I think the setting of Egypt is uh, pretty damn cool. I've liked every setting in Assassin's Creed. Everyone? So, yeah, I've liked all of them. Have there been any that you haven't liked? No, setting-wise. I think some have worked better than me, or worked better than others. Worked better than you? Yeah, probably I some I mean, of most them of them have. worked better than me. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I agree that it's good. Um, I think some environments look a little samey, but uh, for the most part, it's, it's the map is huge. Yeah. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff to do. Look, there's a blacksmith over here. Oh, I, my, my horse ran into a woman. I find that a little funny. They'll be like, oh, Bayek, and then you just run over them with and the then horse. You run, and then every once in a while, they're like, hey, by the way, ba uh, Bayek can uh, run over women <laughs> with his horse. <laughs> uh, do the people asking me are playing on a PlayStation Pro right yeah. now? So, yeah, um, I think it looks really good. I think it looks really good too. And uh, one of the cool things you saw, I went to this blacksmith, uh, tons of options in the game for things like uh, buying new weapons, upgrading weapons you already have. Um, and that is important because I feel like more so than any Assassin's Creed game yet, uh, this goes full RPG. Yeah, like, this is um, not an action adventure game. This is an open world RPG. Where I disagree with what you just said, I don't think using the blacksmith is particularly useful because by the end of the game you will have so many weapons from quests that I didn't even go to the blacksmith anymore. Well, I go to the blacksmith in order to get a lower level weapon that I like the perks of back up to my level. Yeah, you just, you have so many by the end that... Well, I'm not at the end. Well, sure, during, during We the said game. no spoilers and you're spoiling what's go what I'm gonna not be doing at the end. Uh, I did like, yeah, leveling up. Um, I did that a couple of times, level up a weapon that I really liked yeah. that had like bleeding damage or health on hit or something like mm -hmm. that. But yeah, by the end you just have so many that it matters less. It's a nice Mat shield to go there too. I don't, I don't think it's out of the way. Uh, so what do you want to do? Do you want to try to do this uh, main mission? Do we want to find some weird side quests? Um, do, do you want to climb something? I don't know that we're allowed to do the main mission. Probably do the main Oh, this is yeah, the main do mission. That, do that side quest. Let's go talk to that nice man. What's his deal? Oh, he lost his Book of the Dead. Oh, yes, I know this. I've done this travels, I went all the way to Memphis to buy it. No. Um, yeah, I mean, one of the cool things is obviously there are the uh, core, uh, like, assassination pillars. Uh, but then, aside from those, there's just a metric ton of side quests and things to do and places to get lost and yeah. things to see Speaking and explore. Which, uh, I mentioned that I had played for about 50 hours and someone said, even 50 hours is not much content if you play on easy and only play the main story. For the record, I'm saying I've played 50 hours. I'm not saying that the entire game is 50 hours. I'm just saying that's what I have played. Also, I'm going to be honest, I think 50 hours is a lot of content. Uh, I mean, it, it took me 60 hours to 100% Black Flag, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't know if I can tell you how long it took me to finish the main campaign in this, um, but I think there is a lot more than 50 hours of content. That's just how much I have played. In five days, for the record. <laughs> That's a lot. And you're still alive. And I'm still alive. Um, people are asking about the modern story aspect. I think that counts kind of as a spoiler, but I will say that it ties into previous games. Mm -hmm. That's as much detail yeah. as Yeah, I mean, the, the series has never abandoned those uh, sci-fi elements. Some games obviously did deeper I wish they had, <laughs> sometimes. My husband is in danger. Uh, killing? Do you know Novanta asked why Bayek has a beard? He actually has this, uh, this beard and this haircut at the start of the game. Yeah. What do you but, need? Uh, does get a nice shape. I don't know why. That's a weird question. Why does he have a beard? I don't know. Why does anyone well, have a beard? Well, because in uh, the promotional stuff, he doesn't like it. Do you think it's going to be like Grand Theft Auto San Andreas where you can go to a barber? Or you and they like just grow your hair back. Grow your hair or you can like gain weight and lose weight <laughs> by doing pushies? I spent so much time at the gym in San Andreas. 
Because I was like, I just want to be able to run faster and increase my stamina. <laughs> I liked it when you ate a bunch of burgers and you got fat. That was a weird mechanic. Yeah. That was uh, a great game. That was a good game. Thanks. So we're, we're in Siwa right now? Uh, we're not in Siwa. We Where are, are we? in, uh, not Alexandria, but... Uh, Definitely not like Alexandria. Uh, what is this place called? It's the first major city. Yamu. Okay, Yamu. The first major gotcha. city you go to after Siwa. Um, let's see, what are we going to do? We'll, we'll continue on with the Book of the Dead. The Book of the Dead. Yeah, I liked this one, actually. And it's that's like one of my favorite things about it, is there are a lot of side quests that I think are really memorable, whereas mm -hmm. a lot of, uh, I think, of more RPGs, just the side quests just kind of trash. Yeah. So this I think this has really good side quests. Also, you know, one thing you can do in this game that you can't do in a lot of games, you can equip a camel, and you then can. you can hold down, and you whistle, and no matter where you are, this camel appears. Also, if you hold down a button, I don't know what it is on um, PlayStation being that I played on Xbox One X, but uh, you can make him automatically follow the road or automatically oh, yeah. go to your first objective, which yeah. I think is awesome. It's kind of like the regalia in uh, in Final Fantasy XV, <laughs> totally. And I found myself doing this like if I was eating or if I was like texting someone or answering emails, I'll just hold this button and I'll be like, oh, the horse will take yeah, me yeah, to where I great. need to go. And sometimes yeah. something's like three thousand miles away. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. Um, I don't think the M I'm gonna be honest. I don't think the M stands for miles. That'd be a very, very long distance. Oh, you're right, me to say. Uh, I can't believe I screwed that up. <laughs> of all people. Um, yeah, someone asked if they have multiplayer, and a lot of people in the chat are answering incorrectly. Yes, there is multiplayer. You burnt. It's only in uh, one or two very, very specific places, but um, there is indeed multiplayer. So we're gonna we're gonna highlight uh, one aspect of this game that is used quite heavily, and it's your bird slash girlfriend send you. Mm, just bird. Definitely. I mean, did not you, you didn't get the the sexual tension between the two. No. Of them? Um, so so Senu you can use to like scout <laughs> basically in in previous assassins great assassins pre games where you would like send off that orb and it would like highlight people who are red and people <laughs> are yellow as your target you now do that with the bird um Senu does it faster the more viewpoints you synchronize yep. which in this game doesn't uncover the map like like it doesn't have the fog of war which <laughs> i really like you basically just uncover the map by going there <laughs> um but the more of those you do, the faster Senu will be able to pick targets. So it's like kind of like you level up Senu by doing yeah. that. Um, which I think is really cool, but the, the thing that I don't like about Senu is that you have to use it every time. You yeah, can't and just walk to your objective. And it's like, that, call like, the bird! I'm like, why can't I just go there? And there's the prompt that comes up that's like, hey, uh, do you remember Senu? And it's like, I, yes, I remember this. I know I've been to doing use this the, the entire game. every time. But I wish that I didn't have to. I wish that I could just... I don't know, walk there or like yeah. like survey it from the ground. Like you don't always want to call the bird, but he is really he or she I don't know what is really helpful uh, when you are doing the Far Cry style outposts, which I think are called uh, garrison, um, because it's like you can throw the bird up almost like a drone, and then like you find everything that you need to like see the high level enemies, see where the loot is, and then you infiltrate, and it, it that yeah. makes it very very useful. I like I like the fire in the game. Yeah, the, well, yeah, I've burnt myself a lot. You know, my favorite use of fire is burning snakes. The snakes in this game are real scary, and you just burn them a lot. Snakes? Yeah, you haven't I encountered snakes. I literally <laughs> don't think I've found a snake. I screamed multiple times. <laughs> Snack? Uh, Snack? Jake Peters asks, is there eagle vision? Literally, yes, the eagle vision is, is Senu. Uh, you eagle. don't have your own eagle vision. No, you can, like, send, like, a weird little blast like this, but it's not eagle vision. It's sort of just, like, uh... Sonar, I guess. Yeah. Uh, George on YouTube asks, can Senu attack enemies or at least distract them? Yes, that is uh, an upgradable ability. Correct. I do not have that yet, but it sounds it's very It's very helpful because yeah. basically if you're like infiltrating somewhere and there's two guards out the front, you stealth kill one of them and then send Senu to distract the other one mm -hmm. so that you can actually get the stealth on both of them. It's, uh, it's super helpful. Um, yeah, speaking of that, I so far I really like the skill tree. I think it has a lot of sort of just room for experimentation and... Uh, One thing I really like is if you go to the, the ones on the outside, like the last Hunter one, so that is a 1% damage increase to all of your bows, mm -hmm. and you can unlock that as many, many times, times yeah. as you want. So if you're like, I want to do all bow stuff, get there as quick as you can, and, and then every time you level it. And it's only one ability point, too, yeah. so it's like, obviously you have to work your way to get there, mm -hmm. uh, because it's like effectively the last one, but I think that that is super cool. And there's like, I mean, there's like very clear things, like everything on the right is sort of like different tools, so if it's sleep go, darts it, and poison. Uh, go to, up, go to the, that, that one's my favorite. You can uh, make friends with animals. Uh oh. After you put them to sleep with the sleep dot, you basically like wake them back up, become friends with them, and then they will attack people for you. 
This one's my favorite, and it's stupid because all it does is prevent me from having to hit the I triangle button. I didn't even unlock that one. Yeah, it just means you automatically steal your. <laughs> That's their why things. I didn't unlock it. Oh, I'm just real. I, I'm, I'm all for ease of life. I'm all for ease of life. Someone asked, "How does the bird stay in the air like that?" Uh, it's a bird. Yeah, uh, titular hero bird stays in the air by flying. No, he needs how does the bird hover? <laughs> it's a bird. The bird can't hover. Whoa. Yeah, they can. No, that's like a hummingbird. Have you not seen a bird hover? Eagles absolutely can sit in the air. No, they can't. That's not, no. Just you, like have without you not moving? seen it? They can absolutely no, are, do that. They just are, ca you catch the wind and then they just sit there. No, I don't think that any of that's true. That happens a lot. I've definitely seen What do you mean it, it, it happens a lot? Yes, I've seen those too. Oh no, specky men. I took it for my father. So the weapon I've been using a lot in the game is this big old, this big old poison hammer. Yeah, that's uh, I've been it. upgrading it as I upgrade, and yeah, it's just that's like... A, that's a real silly looking thing. Yeah, but it, re it kills men very well. Look, he's dead. Uh, I mostly used the curved swords. Um, oh, like the sickle swords? The sickle swords, Those are cool. because they do bleeding damage, <laughs> which I just love. Um, things to do fire damage. Uh, enter the new one, Twitch asks, do you think the combat changes are positive? I used to really like the counter attack and attack mechanic. So, when they say that they have rebuilt the... Uh, combat from the ground up that is literal like it isn't just like he slightly adjusted the combat they completely changed yeah, it uh, enemies now have pit boxes whereas previous assassin's creed games it used to be you would try to attack someone and then an animation would like pull you together mm -hmm. and you would you would fight and this is you swing you can hit three of them you swing and you miss you're open to attack so um yeah i like the combat i think it, it feels like actual combat now and i yeah. didn't even realize yeah. that it kind of didn't beforehand yeah are you, oh, you're bringing the Book of the Dead to yeah. man. Yeah, a lot of people, I feel like in certain preview people are like, it's like Dark Souls. I completely disagree yeah, with that. Yeah, but everyone that. says everything is like yeah, Dark Souls. Yeah, well, that's because <laughs> no one has original ideas. <laughs> um, I don't think it's like Dark Souls, but it feels much different than... In some than... of the boss fights, there's a lot of, there is parrying and dodging and all that stuff, but that's kind of it. As your father it's closer us. to Dark Souls than it was in previous games. Yeah, it's definitely, it's branched further away from, like, uh, Batman's Shadow of War style combat. Yes. I think it's very different than that. Yeah, this is. has a lot of similarities to Shadow of War, in my opinion. Combat is definitely is not one of them. Body? Yeah, I agree. It is not too late. Which, like, I love that combat. Like, I would have been Oh, with the 30 guys around you and hit triangle touch? Yes. Yeah. I really like that. It was definitely, it, uh... Playing both this and Shadow of War at the same time uh, breaks my brain a little bit, just because both yeah. games are like built on similar point. foundations, but just have different attack buttons. Uh, Doc Rose on Twitch asks, "Can you pet the cats or dogs?" You can't. It's an outrage. Can you not pet cats? No, and I, I had like someone four was of them around me at once, and I and maybe it was like maybe that's like part of the day one patch or something, but there was like four of them. Crowded around me, and I couldn't pet. Yeah, them. I haven't been able to. It was very, very, which is weird because like you watch, you're able to pet dogs and watch dogs. As you should. I spent a lot of time cutting dogs. Yeah. So. I don't think there's dogs in this game, are there? Uh, I think, yeah, I think there are dogs. There's not very many. Just well, one dog. Otherwise, there are just things that look like dogs. So. I mean, there's hyenas. Those are like Dog's mean things. dogs. Old man, your book. Um, May it guide you to your wife's side. Bilal said, oh no, it looks like AC3 yawn. This is nothing like Seth. No, I don't know. What do you mean it looks like AC3? This is my least favorite Assassin's Creed game. Uh, Willie Santos on YouTube asks, what is your favorite aspect of the game so far? Um, I really like the, the side quests. Like I said, I think they're multifaceted and I think they're very interesting. And the culture in each of the cities that you go to is really rich. And a lot of the side quests are like based around them. Like there's one city where it's full of like fighters and there's a side quest you can take to like start a street fighting business. And it's just like, there's just, they're very grounded in the area that they are in. And um, yeah. different cities have different gods and their quests will be around those gods. Yeah, this uh, AC has always been a series that's you know prided itself on like research and historical accuracy and everything, and I feel like this game just it, like exemplifies that. Yeah. Um, it seems like so much care and detail was put into creating a very rich, diverse yeah, portrayal definitely. of Egypt, not only like through aesthetics but also just through like culture tidbits. I mean, there's prejudices and and like clashes between the uh, Greeks and the Egyptians mm -hmm. that are like just very very blatant. So, yeah, all of that stuff is, is present. I'm really happy. Gonna do a good swim? No, I might steal a boat. Well, I was like, oh, good thing this swim will only take five minutes. <laughs> Look, you can go underwater. You can. I mean, he can hold his breath for just an inordinate amount of time. Very long time. And one of the things. It's one of, very handy. One of the perks is. Uh, do you think I can catch this boat? 
I'm just gonna sort of realize. I actually, uh, people ran over me in boats a lot. That happened to me multiple times. I think that that boat might be um, a bad guy boat. A bad guy yeah, boat. I'm gonna get on top of that boat. All right. Some of these boats also have cages with lions in them, which is very exciting. It is exciting. And you can let the lions out in the boats, and the lions don't know what's going on. Well, they mostly attack you, but yeah. Well, not if you come. Well, it's kind of mean. Like if you kill everyone on the boat, the boat stops moving. So does that mean the lions are stranded on the boat? No, lions can swim. No. There you go. No. Oh. No, you Ow. really made your mind up on this point. Well, no, uh, yeah, I wanna, I wanna, there's lions. We're gonna find the lions. We're gonna hold L to pay respects and pet. <laughs> uh, happy Accidents asks, is Parkour more active or still hold the button and we do everything for you? I think it's, it's pretty passive, but it is very, very sweet. Yeah. It feels very organic. You all got any enemies on it? There you go. So, Captain. No, there's another one up at the back. Oh, there's this dude. He's walking. Yeah. Let's try to kill the captain first. Alright, I would have gone with the level 7 guy first. Ooh. Or just anyone who's facing away. I also feel like I will kill anything with my what hammer. The hell? What the hell? Hey, what? I'm amazed that that works. <laughs> You're like, what if I jump multiple times? Go, my lion no, friend! My lion. Oh, okay. okay. Hey, what? Oops. You let that this lion controller, is, this controller is being a little, a little flunky. Letting out those lions? Why is like the lion on fire? I'd, I'm gonna be honest, I'm going to kill that lion and take its pelt. Wow. But, it's pretty savage of you. Well, I mean, I need to build my things. Yeah, the controller's... Bugging out? No, it's... I think it's way auto-assisting. Interesting. Um, uh, menu is left. Or auto-aiming. Um, partial, that's interesting. That's probably the default. Uh, someone asked, can we show the map? How big it, is it? Uh, because we're playing on an account only level six, the answer to that is no. We do not have the entire map unlocked. Yeah, but we can. We can show the, yeah, the so shadow of it. This is the city we we were in. This is where we went out to the desert. This is where we are now. And this is the. <laughs> it's big. It is big. It is but, big. Uh, a lot of those regions, the main quest never takes you. To. Mm -hmm. Um, it takes you to I think probably just. Just over half, but that would also be depending on like which direction you walk through them yep. too. And some of them are almost entirely empty. Oh, no, I'm just dancing. Doing a nice dance. Oh no, I died, and I fell in the water. Squids don't ask so they in-game loot boxes and microtransactions. I don't know if that would be. Embargoed? I wouldn't think so. No. Yes, there are. There are. Uh, a lot of them aren't unlocked yet, but we'll have a full detailed report on what what yes. they are and what they do uh, at launch. But as of, I don't know, I've put probably 18 hours into the game and I've not felt a need to buy things. Yeah, personally. I think most of them are cosmetics, so. Mm -hmm. Someone also said, this is too much like Primal, I'm not going to buy the game, same game twice, nice try Ubisoft. Also nothing like Primal. I mean, there's a bird. It's very different games. The bird. There are There animals. is a bird? Yes. Aside from that, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to buy the same game twice. This is just a drastically different game than Far Cry Primal. Uh, Benjamin Weeks on Twitter asks, Jump into, jumped into the stream late, but what's the present day stuff like in AC Origins? So we said before that there are ties to the previous games in that kind of meta-narrative. And I will say, I think that stuff is fine. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's... Um, Get right, crocodiles. Great. I don't think it's bad. It's just, this sort of is. Yeah. I've also done this quest. I remember mm -hmm. that drunk man. This one's actually kind of sad. Oh, yeah, when you figure out <laughs> when yeah. you get back. 
Yep. Also, I ran out of bows. Uh, sorry, of arrows. Uh, in this, so did I, and yeah. I had to like lure them onto the shore. Oh no, I just jumped in the water and hacked the crap out of them from the water. I think that. Hey, you! Hello! It's like just much scarier having water combat with things that you can't see. But... Yeah, right. Do you have two light bows right now? No, I have a hunter bow. Oh, and a light bow. And a light bow. Gotcha. Yeah, so there are a bunch of different bow types. Uh, my favorite's the Predator bow, and I also always equipped a hunter bow that had um, three arrows at once, which did like a bunch of bleeding damage, which just like was devastating. Uh, but the Predator bow is my favorite because it's it's entirely first person and just such a good bow for getting headshots. And it has like a you can like some of them have like an after touch ability where yeah. after you fire them you can sort of guide them here. Well, that is an ability actually. That's that's uh, an upgrade that you purchase. Uh, gotcha. uh, but that is super fun to use. Mm -hmm. So here's this ten drunk man. Beers. He had two or ten beers. He was a. And what is one to do? You end up in a pillar in the middle of crocodile land. Yep. I have a wife. Oh, mother will be God, so pleased. So Get on the boat, you strange drunk. Uh, Razalke asks, Razal is there crafting Duel. similar to Breath of the Wild in this game? There is crafting. It is not similar to Breath of the Wild. Uh, no, very different than Breath of the Wild. Um, the crafting is to, you can upgrade your ranged ability, or the range damage, yeah, melee sure damage. Um, stuff down the bottom. Yeah, you have these things at the bottom, uh, and you unlock others, so it's uh, like arrow capacity, uh, bow and arrow strength, melee strength, uh, health, hidden blade, and whatever this last one is. Uh, it's oh, tools, tools, so it's like sleeping dots. Yeah, and so with each level, you see these notches on the side, with each level you level up, it requires more things, and rarer things, yeah. and different things. And you and get I those by... Those a lot. And you get those by, uh, sometimes you find them out in the wild, sometimes it's things that you gather from animals, mm -hmm. uh, sometimes you can dis you can either sell uh, weapons and items for money, or you can disassemble them, and like a wooden shield will give you wood, and a sword will give you iron. Also, uh, enemies will sometimes come up on the map as like transporting a certain good, and if you yes. kill that enemy, you will get whatever they are transporting. And if you kill ten of them, you get the Jason safety film the transporter. That cannot be You haven't, yeah, I mean, that, I didn't get to that part. Okay, yeah, that's on the Switch version. <laughs> Look at that, we've landed, my good friend. Uh, Z Hennessy asked me to upgrade your horse slash camel. Um, technically, no. No. But you can get different mounts. Yeah. Egypt is a land full of magic. You get different mounts, and as far as I can tell, all of them are aesthetic. Even if it's like rare, or legendary, exotic, or Pretty any sure, of that nonsense. Yeah. Yep. All right, so this is where this quest gets weird. Yeah, it gets very weird. I was about you. Oh, my dear kisses he's got on. I went to the island because of her. She, she got me drunk, married me, told me I owed her a virginity tax. Who's virginity? That's not a real fact. You can go. Yeah, this it's pretty messed up. Like he was like. No. No. Date drugged raped? and then Go. forced to They'll kill me. Yeah. 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 Yep. <laughs> and this is just like an early side quest. I was like, yeah, what's they get, they get heavy real quick. <laughs> Please help me. I also Please found it pretty me. messed up that you literally kill her brothers Tiffany, right in front of her. Like, I mean, why didn't you just punch him? Now you kill him. Yes. And I got him, I got him right dead. in the tunkus. My brothers. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't, I mean, probably didn't need to kill him by a. Praise and thanks. Yep. You saved my life. Look at Matt's chest. My purse. It's cool, quite a lot of chest there. Be careful when drinking with strangers. I think, uh... That's good, that's good advice. <laughs> yeah. I think a lot of the uh, NPCs do look quite different, except for the ones that you can't talk to. Yeah. Oh, that man had a nice hair flop going on there. A hair, <laughs> good hair, flop. A hair flop? Uh, Davida on Mixer asks, got bored up after AC4, is this game different enough to be worth picking up? This game's um, way different than Black I Flag. I definitely think this game is different to every other game in the series. Mm -hmm. Probably as big of a leap as there was between like AC1 and AC2. Yeah. Like, it's very different in that this game is an RPG. This is an open world RPG. Mm -hmm. This is not an action adventure. Um, it is... Yeah, and they said that from the start. Like this, this almost has more in common with like Witcher than... than 
Yeah. It does with the traditional like structure. Things that make me think of like phantom pains. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So these uh, these blue things are interesting. Uh, these are sort of revenge quests. Uh, if you've been playing oh, Shadow of War, this is going to be familiar to you. Um, you kind of stumble upon a body, and you're like, "What's what the deal this? with this?" And so this was another player, and you have to avenge their death. I'm amazed that the other player was actually named Segnius. That's like such a normal game attack. <laughs> You expected like a bong ripper or something? Well, when I was playing, only developers had played, so it was like, Avenge, Dev 27589, oh. <laughs> and I'd be like, alright, gotcha, Dev. I got you back. Yeah. And at first, I was like, I had to ask them, I was like, what, does, what is this? Is this like uh, a quest that you haven't put the name in correctly? And they were like, oh no, that's just like the crappy game attacks that we have yeah. in this room that you would use. So there's a line on the boat now. I feel pretty good about that. Um, someone has requested to see swords. Okay. I'm gonna, Change your weapon, well, son. Let me let me kill these men with hammers because I'm much more comfortable with hammers, and then we will do swords. Hammer is brutal, but it, yeah. it's definitely slow. It's definitely slow, but this has been my this has been my go-to uh, probably in my 15 hours or so. So from what I can tell, your attack strategy, your combat. Oh, that was convenient. Uh, is just kind of like go in there, hack some people up. Well, like you're not really targeting a lot. No, I mean with the hammer too, you can Full hit pairing. a ton of enemies at once. Right, because it's got a uh, long range. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Into this guy, I'll, I'll switch this. So, oh, no. oh, I don't have the two weapons unlocked yet. Um, that's an ability you need to get. Uh, is to be able to have two weapons at once. Let's see. Second sword's my favorite. So, as you can see, it's doing way, 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 way less damage. Yeah, but much quicker. Yeah. And I think I like that about the sword. Um, I pretty much exclusively use the swords. Like, I, I messed around a little bit, but swords are definitely my favorite. I shot him right in the elbow. Good. Uh, uh, this is probably a a location objective. I don't know if I want to kill this kill this line or not. Uh, what do you mean a location objective? Oh, you killed the captain. You're right. That, never mind. So did I avenge that man's death? Um, not That's necessarily. Oh. I don't remember if it told you. If you did. I kind of want to just get off the phone. I don't like these lines. I'm not gonna deal with these lines anymore. Uh, what are your, I guess, uh, general, just like, broad thoughts on uh, Bayek as a character uh, in relation, sort of in, in respect to other um, assassin heroes? I think that Bayek is angrier. He's uh, like an interesting mix of like compassionate and just and bold, but like totally driven by revenge yeah. in a way that, um, I mean, I guess technically Ezio was, but I felt like Ezio was sort of more of a loving sure. character. So um, Bayek is... Just and angry, and but sometimes he's really sweet. Like mm -hmm. anytime he interacts with children, he's lovely. But I do think he's a complex character, and I think his relationships are complex yep. um, and realistic. And the only like thing that annoyed me about Bayek is the amount of times there'll be a quest where he'll be like, "Ah, you disrespect the gods." I'm like, well, okay. Oh my god. Apparently it was a I have never seen such disrespect. I'm like, well, okay, we yeah, you said that last time, but what, do I have to kill the Is hippo? that a hippo crocodile fight going on there? <laughs> no, just let him fight. Oh no, he's looking at me. Ah. Uh, well, do I need to kill the croc? Or yeah, the hippo? you do need to kill the croc. Well, it seems like the croc's dead. Right? That means you just have to confirm the kill. Thanks, hippo, for finishing yeah. that quest. Maybe don't run over. Well, I need to. You're just gonna need to hold down the triangle. Watch out for that hippo. It's fine. Alright, it's fine. <laughs> uh, ah! Oh! <laughs> I lied when I said it was fine! I'm gonna be honest. Based on like the amount of like Yes. Power he put into that jump, there's no way you're not dead. Oh. I was, I was wondering what this meant. That's yeah. That's, uh, that's sign hippo? language that's for hippos. Uh, hippos. <laughs> uh, I really like the uh, sort of the wildlife in the game. I think it's really interesting. I think oh, yeah, and I like the way they interact with ro each other. Yeah, roaming packs of hyenas, uh, just terrifying mobs of hippos. One of, the, one of the quests we got going on. Chris Engel asks, can you pilot the bigger boats? No. Well. Well, like that, that ship we commandeered. That one, no. We cannot pirate that. 
pirate that? Well, it wouldn't be pirating. Yeah, that works. You wouldn't, you wouldn't download a car, would you? You wouldn't download a car. There's a bunch of Australian uh, jokes about that. That's, that's like, you wouldn't download your nan. And people <laughs> just like, started posting it everywhere. It's pretty great. Uh, Tommy L said, aren't we to an extent tired of big open worlds now? I want interesting storylines, not necessarily a new Witcher 3. Look, I will take a new Witcher 3 every year for the rest of my life. <laughs> But uh, this does also have interesting storylines. Story so well, and if I, you were to just play the main quest, you could 100% do that. Uh, you do have to do some grinding because it is level based and you will get to a certain point where a quest is too high for your level. It will never tell you you can't do the quest, but uh, it will be just incredibly difficult. I, I tested that out a lot to see like how far above my level I could actually get um, and not just be destroyed immediately. So, what's Do you know what the deal with these papyrus? like riddles are so you collect these in all the locations yeah. and it's like a riddle for some treasure or something yeah you just where? follow what it says how do, i don't know where a few, a few hundred meters th northwest of the oh so i just do I should probably yes just do what you it do says. exactly what it says okay yep. <laughs> like how you're like do you know what the deal is with these things that i can uh, really easily openly read this is where as, um i mean who knows where do you think where do you think it is do you think it's in the desert what's well, a few hundred what, meters what did the note say north a few hundred meters northwest of the temple jim there's no compass and then i uh yeah what's the deal with that so, yeah, I, I don't. I like yeah, how I ask you what's the deal with that. Like this is something. Like it was your design decision. I, yes, me, the developer. Yeah. Hey, uh, Alana, why didn't you put uh, north on the compass in Destiny? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. It me, the developer of all compasses. Mm -hmm. yeah, let me try to find this. Let me try to find this treasure. Uh, Crate Haywire asked, "What difficulty are you playing on?" I believe Void is playing on normal. Right? No. Yeah. Um, John asked, is lock on available for combat? Yes. yes, and Marty has done that a couple of times. Mm -hmm. um, I used it pretty much constantly. Um, it's just by holding in one of the sticks on a controller. And it can be a little bit difficult to swap between enemies. doesn't always work when you yeah, want to. Yeah, a little but, finicky. Um, but it's very, very handy. Especially for boss fights. Okay, well, I'm going to read that. I'm going to read that. It's said. Hundred meters northwest of the temple, which resides by the lake, there was a great place for a date, full of palm trees, surrounded by desert. One rock fence was built to close off with no exit. Palm trees surrounded by desert. The rock Someone fence. Someone in the chat said Assassin's Creed Three is the best. I'm just gonna shake my head for a little. <laughs> this is an outrage. This is no. I'm calling the police. Uh, MK Mullen asks, do you have any information regarding the game mode that removes quests, enemies, and limited free room for the purposes of learning Egyptian history? That is not in the game yet. yet. Yeah, I, uh, I saw a preview of it uh, a little while ago, it's, I believe, called Discovery, um, and that is a thing that's coming out early next year as a patch. Mm -hmm. And I find it really cool, because like we said, like, the amount of work that was put into this, like, I totally want to just like roam around and, and experience the world and absorb things. Well, I think that... Um, like, yes, but also uh, enemies don't attack you on sight as much as they did in previous games. Yes. So it's like, you know, if you're walking through any city as Ezio, if they noticed you, they would attack you or yeah. whatever. That doesn't really happen so much here, so you can walk around kind of, uh, kind of more freely. So it seems like I'm a monster right now. Yeah, it does. This isn't even your save file. Hey, we should show that. That's uh, Senu. Just uh, kill that. Thanks, Senu. You're this nice eagle. I mean, you feel bad, but you now I have all the leathers, and I can I can make the. This isn't even your save file. It's not like things. you're gonna use this after the stream Some, ends. Someone else can make the things. Who? I feel like, oh, I just ran that man over. Uh, Spider Man three five six asks, "What is the max level?" I believe it is forty. And again, people asking if there is multiplayer. The answer is yes. Um, I'm trying not to answer questions that we've been asked multiple times. So if you're late to the stream and you want to ask something. Uh, do it on Twitter with the hashtag IGN plays live, and then when the stream ends, I can answer your questions. But I'm basically just trying not to repeat myself too much on the stream. I think this might have been we are streaming the, until 12. I think this might have been the, the, the secret. Was this loot? You found secrets? I don't know. I think this may have been. Oh, the papyrus? Yeah. Uh, why don't you use center? It's raw. So, it, like, if there's loot, it'll come up with like a little bit like of white little around the outside. Well, I think I already got all the loot. There's nothing around here. Nope. Maybe you done goofed? Rest in peace. Looks really pretty on uh, PS Pro. Agreed. What? Alright, what, kind of what kind of a noise was that, my, my camel friend? 
I like the camel. I think he's nice. I think they're great. Oh. Did you know there are certain camels with three humps? Which is very uncomfortable. Is it really? Yeah. Well, at least that's what Max told me. That's probably he knows a lot. No, he knows a ton about animals. Yeah, so. but he also probably lied about. No, oh, I think he, I don't think he lies about the animals. Um, Sauerkraut said later. Can you guys check out the different costumes, please? Do you have oh, any? Knows. You do kind of organically get different outfits as the game progresses. Um, I wore the same one the entire game, though. Uh, if you only have two, yeah. yeah. That's by X regular outfit. You can uh, choose to uh, keep your hood on or off. Yeah, which uh, the one I had had a animal mask, so I took the hood off and it just removed that mask. Yeah. Basically. I like it a lot. And you get like some certain main missions have you infiltrating something and wearing a specific outfit, and then you get that outfit that you use later on. But the outfits themselves are uh, much like the mounts are purely aesthetic. Yes. Like the there is one um, outfit in the game that is like t it takes a very 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 long time to get. Mm -hmm. There's one that I would like, even though this you get so many legendary ones that it kind of doesn't mean anything. There's one that I would consider to be actually legendary. And, uh, King Arthur. It's very cool. Um, not King Arthur related. But, uh, yeah, even that doesn't have any different abilities. So. But it does look cool. So you're saying there's no King Arthur armor? I didn't see any King Arthur armor. Okay. But you definitely, you said you didn't see 100% of the stuff, so it's possible. How is your family? The children seem to grow larger by the minute. My wife and I have I'm a saying that I won't answer the same question. And you? Is there any weird reason to get angry? You're not even playing! I'm like, yeah, but I don't want to I be repetitive myself. for yeah. everyone else's work. There are so many things in your life best not spoken of. Forgive me. I see by this man 93 on uh, Twitch said, I'm only here for textures ah, and bugs. Yes. Um, there are the a fair amount of bugs in his grace made me his that I encountered at least. I'm only here for and textures and bugs? He's just making a hot goof. That's a man making a joke. Textures? Yeah. Of course, of course. I recorded At some texture related bugs also. There was one that involved the nipple. Nice. Yeah. Well, no, it's it's on a minor. <laughs> it's not nice. It's basically just like the, the guy's nipple texture and the color of his nipple while like several inches apart. It's just like just like he had two nipples. I mean that's hot Assassin's Creed bugs. I've seen that before. Well, yeah. Some humans have bugs. Ready to see our beautiful temple? Sure. After you, Menehet. Or is it servant of the goddess? Menehet will do for one as good as family. This is far from the sorry way. ruin of my last visit. Yash Sharma now said, how much would you guys rate it based on the missions you have played so far? I am reviewing this game. We are not allowed to talk about the rating until Thursday, 4 a.m. PT. Our review will be up with the score. Um, but right now, we cannot talk about it at all. I so. give it banana. You can say banana. Uh, I, I like bananas. I'm not going to give my opinion of bananas because that would ruin, that would break embargo. So I'd give it a banana. It technically would still break embargo. I feel like Ubisoft could still be like, oh, IGN, you said the banana was good on your scale. No, an so that's what I'm saying is I give it a banana, but I'm going to tell you All what right. the banana is. Very good. <laughs> Tune in uh, Thursday morning to my banana review to find out. 4 a.m. PT. <laughs> what does Monty really think of bananas? <laughs> I, I wake up and live stream. <laughs> Silent uh, Gustavo G said, does it have character creation or customization? No, it of my life. Why have Except you for changing your outfit. Your mother's side. I mean, it has like RPG progression, but yeah, you don't choose anything. Oh, the way you look. Yeah. No I like this quest a lot. Behind. This is a really good I'm example of how um, Bayek is just like really you sweet. With oh, yeah. Is the hide and seek one? Yeah. Over a yes, yes, yes. And I am very dangerous. Yeah. yeah, I think he's really cute. Hide well. For the wonder that stalks your path. He's literally playing hide and seek with children right now. It's pretty great. It's kind of cheating that he can use this bird, I'm going to be honest. But, uh... Oh, he's great around children. He uh, cheats to win. <laughs> so, when you're using the bird, you got those little arrows that come up that tell you, like, the vague direction of, basically, if there is anything nearby, so it's really hard to miss something. In yeah. Animation. It'll, like, give you an arrow for... Loot and for enemies, so um, and uh, 
Once again, if you're playing Shadow of War, this feels very similar to when you uh, commandeer a tower and you do the ISR on thing. And it's just, you're it's crazy that those two games have similarities when they were being developed at the exact same time. Oh, and there's clearly. There's just no way yeah, that they ripped yeah. each other off. Like, it just couldn't have I think it's just sort they of just, a sign of the times. Yeah, it's just the way the uh, industry's progressing. Just made a lot of similar stuff and people Stupid like kid fell in a well. Keba, what in the name of the gods are you doing down there? Uh, grenade guy 20 asks, can you show us some stealth using hidden blade bow and distractions? We do not have a hidden blade yet. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something that you get through the story. We don't have it, but we can show you probably some um, stealth stuff after we rescue these kids. Well, that's the only one he needed rescuing, I think. Oh, uh, George Raymond Mavilla asks, can you show night and day phasing? Do you have that ability? Um, that's, you hold down. It, no, it would be. Yeah. yeah. So that... Uh, Wait, maybe you can't do it during a mission. Or maybe I have to keep holding it? Um, oh, yeah. You do? Yeah. That's odd. Also on an Xbox One controller, that's the left button, basically. Oh, the, yeah. yeah, would be so that's weird. Yeah. But um, that yeah. is... I actually really like it, um, but it's also useful because there are quests where, because the characters feel like real characters, there will be um, something like... You need to talk to this traitor. He's not at his soul because it's too late at night, so you have to wait for him to get back here. And it's useful for that kind of stuff. It's like you just like meditate to wait yeah. for someone to show up. Or like, yeah, I don't want, uh, I don't want to talk about this in public. Meet me down by the docks right. at night. Right. And I should say, like, I don't think that that is annoying in any way. A because you can just fast forward through time, yeah. but B because there's so much to do in this game that. Oh, totally. Uh, you know, if you're waiting until nighttime because you need to meet someone at the house at nighttime to have a secret meeting, then it really, at no point did that annoy me. When it's one of those things like you will constantly have like dozens of quests active at various stages and I'll complete a quest but then I'll be like go here to redeem it and I'm like well I'll just redeem it when I get back there. Yeah. Hush, come down now. We can watch stars from the riverbank. Uh, Harry Gamer said it's amazing how they are new to the game but they know where everything is. We are definitely not new to the game. Um, as mentioned before I've played about 50 hours. Money you probably played like 15, 20? Yeah, 15 or 20. So we have so, played quite a bit. Yeah, so well, I'm, we're probably making a lot of this seem a lot easier or just running straight to things where we'd be exploring. Yeah, because we know where they are, basically. Yeah. Um, it's also, yeah, it's just crazy to me how memorable something like that is. Like, I remember where they were. Yeah. And, like, I know where they were hiding. And... It, like, kind of makes me think of... Terrible uh, hiding. That kid did great. Your turn to hide. It's terrible haircut. That's the last haircut. of the children. It's like if you put flats on both sides of your heads and then just shave the middle off. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, like the, that quest specifically kind of makes me think of the one with uh, Ezio in Revelations where you're like in the middle of this giant war and you just go collect the flowers. Yes. And, like, I love that so much. Speak rather to the offending merchant. Priest, you have proven as false as your mummies. False mummies? Man ahead. Your brood is delivered safely home. Thank you, friend. Hey, what did that fool want with you? Some visitors, having purchased religious objects, are angry when our village has no more dead People are talking about um, how good it looks on PS Pro versus Donut the Xbox merchant. One I X. I actually the finished the entire anger. game on the this Xbox One X. And uh, it didn't have the day one patch, so it didn't necessarily have all of the updates. I'm going to say I don't think they look dramatically different, but it's always very, very hard to tell without having screens side totally. by side. And um, I haven't played it since Friday. So. I will say I've been playing uh, on just the launch PS4, mm -hmm. and I think it looks great. So yeah, we got some points. What, should, what, what sort of what sort of stuff should we do? That's, that's up to you, fam. What do you want to do? I like this. We well, why don't you do the perform attack in the air? Because people are asking for some assassins. Okay. Stuff. Well, I want to do this. So you, all right, so you're going for the fire. No, we can set stuff. things on fire. Oh, we have multiple ability points. Where's uh, perform attack in the air? Mm -hmm. Warrior. Yeah. This. Yeah. <laughs> is this an assassination? I don't even have this yet in my game. Yeah, you kill him in the end. Is this just an air assassination? Yeah. No. Oh. It's not, well, it's more of an aggressive jump, but yeah, it's an air assassination. And also, you should absolutely get that. It's super yeah, helpful. Yeah, it seems like <laughs> eagle harass. Yeah, I don't know why I just really laugh at that. Um, yeah, let's find something. We'll find something and I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll kill a man. It's just because we're playing uh, side quests rather than the main quests. Yeah, um, the main quests have a lot of like a lot more traditional yeah. Assassin's Creed stuff, like breaking into a sometimes even like changing what you're wearing to get into a building, mm -hmm. like Hitman style. And ooh, that then, one like, mission did up. sort of remind me of Hitman. Totally. Yeah. And then like I assume you know the one that I'm yeah, referring yeah. to. Yeah. And then um, like assassinating someone from the sky or like 
finding a way to seclude them and, and kill them. So there's a lot more of that stuff. A lot of seduction. You, of all the main targets that you have in the game, of which there are quite a few, um, you assassinate all of them. There's, wait, two of them have boss fights, but the rest, I believe, only two of them. No, technically three. Yeah, I've definitely done one of the boss fights. You've done one. Can, I, can, my, can my camel not get past this I'm force field? I'm thinking your camel can't get past that force field. I hate this camel. <laughs> can I not get past this force field? All right, I got no, it. you, you just it. did a good climb. That was a really good climb. Right? I like how there's just fruit everywhere. Tons of veggies. People gotta eat. Offerings. People gotta eat. I think those are offerings. Again, to people asking me how we rate the game out of 10, we are not allowed to answer that right now. My review will be up on Thursday at 4 a.m. PT. I already gave it a banana. Marty gave it a banana. Um, Sean McClary asked, how do you like this Skyrim-like navigation system? I dramatically prefer having the bar with all of the things for you to go towards than having a flooded mini-map full of useless quests. I way prefer it. Agreed. This camel needs to just chill. Um, that camel puts in so much work for you. You don't even feed it or like house it, and you're just telling it to chill. I mean, it doesn't. I, that's what the that's what the camp. That's what my friendship's for. Yeah, I, I was trying to think of the line from Mad Men when Peggy is uh, <laughs> Peggy's yelling at Don about how he never gives her any compliments about her work and never praises her, and he just screams, "That's what the money's for!" <laughs> Nailed it. I have heard rumors. Uh, IJ30K1 asks, is it possible to unlock all the abilities? If you want to avoid trouble. And like we said, there's those certain, those three abilities, in e or one in each of the pegs where you can continue to upgrade it. To yeah. Increase For as long as you strengths. want. And you don't have to upgrade all of them if you don't want. Um, mm -hmm. I was pretty selective about what I picked. And Tell some things like cost like three or two, you. so I would I no wait until I accumulated more instead of just upgrading to things that were one point every time. So. Yeah. I wish to anger neither him nor the gods. We are forced to sell items of lesser quality, or see our stalls destroyed. Also remember Who's this one. This? I can say no more now. Let us meet tonight, where the village turns to farmland. It's an example of let us meet tonight. Wow, we did foreshadowing. We did, yeah. Good on us. Can you get rid of that custom marker? Just seeing it is annoying. <laughs> Thank you. Clean that up. I always try to. I always try to spot where the camel will spawn, but you never can. Because it'll always be like the opposite direction oh, absolutely. of your camera facing. No, it does a really good job yeah, with that, like, actually. I really, like, my you, like, goal is trick, to spot it. Trick the camel. Uh, yeah, no, I've never spotted it. Big fan of that. Hazard Sniper asks, is the combat easy to get used to? Because I played a lot of the old one. Um, I think there's a little tiny learning curve, but mm -hmm. yeah, you, you'll pick it up pretty quick. I mean, my biggest learning curve has been. Like I mentioned, because I'm playing Shadow of War, it's just a different button layout, and so right. Square is attacking Shadow of War, I've and Square in this is to sort of South dodge Park and scuttle. And the Evil Within too, so that, <laughs> so those that's are nothing like uh, So yeah, you see here a good example of uh, we need to meet the man at night, so we just hold the button. I like this quest as well. This happens. I feel like we should pay more attention to like side quests being well written. This guy. Glad to see you have kept our appointment. Come, sit with me and share a drink of wine. Nah. I do not have time for that. Look at that cat. Look at that cat. It is a beautiful There's night. that cat. Let us enjoy the coolness of the air for a moment before turning to business. There's that cat. Yeah. Merchant, Eat I'm that meat. Oh, like like Who is behind the traffic <laughs> of false icons? Well, you see, it is no simple story. There are many involved in this terrible affair, but they would all tell you the same thing. Pity the trusting man, for he suffers great pain. Oh snap! Saboteur! Boy, set you up. I need to get my I need to get my warhammer back. Your warhammer? Yeah, the twenty twenty ninety nine. <laughs> Everyone's favorite warhammer twenty twenty nine. Warhammer twenty forty nine. Um, so what happened here is, uh, someone was like, oh, people are selling, like, all this crap in the market, like, I don't know what's going on there. That's just part of the culture of this town, is that the market is a huge thing. And you asked to talk to this guy about who the supplier is and who is forcing you to do that, and he set you up. But he didn't expect my Warhammer, and then I hit him in the crotch. Yeah, he did. This hickory stick is great. It I looks like so dumb. Smoke. It looks so dumb. Yeah, I'm I kind of think it's terrible. I think actually. it's great. I much prefer the sword. I think it's but great. But it's also like you. I feel like your combat is less fun than mine. 
What are you talking about? Well, I, because I, you I just smash mine. through them. It feels great. You don't do any parrying. You don't do any dodging. No. No. The combat can be better than what it is. I'm having a great time. All right. Well, you just that tap that button. Yeah, it's great. All right. Southeast of here is the, the best part's when the hammer hits the men. <laughs> <laughs> That's the and, entire part. And then the last time is when I hit the man in the genitals with the hammer. It's great. I don't know why I let this man get away. I feel like I shouldn't have done that. But. The hair is not customizable. Yes, I am reviewing this game. For everyone asking how combat compares to The Witcher 3, it's very different. Um, the size of the map is much bigger. I'm trying to just answer the questions we have multiple times before. You spit hot fire? You can punch someone in the face. What? Of course. What? Uh, someone asked. I don't want to answer that question because it's a little spoilery. Is it true that you're Altair's dad? No, centuries apart. No, they're not related. Well, no, they could be related. I feel like everyone's stupid they... series is related. Wow, that bird found that man very quickly. Is that the only, is that the, let's do a good swoop in here. Also, you want to know something crazy? Look how high the bird can go. Let's just talk about how high this bird goes. It does get to a certain point where it'll be like, Senna was too far. Yeah, but it's just so high. Look at how, it just, it just keeps going up. So is that Charles Gambino? That's my good song. Look how high it is. Yeah. Still going up. Still going up. Yep. Look. The music up here sounds like Stranger Things. Look, and these are the pyramids. These are the pyramids of Giza. Yeah, those are pyramids. The Sphinx is also, over there. Also, like, the draw distance is really good. Obviously, you can't see over the water. Yeah. Like, that's where it blocks off. And you come back down. Mm -hmm. Also... And we would have only seen one loading screen so far because you've only fast traveled once, yeah. right? This game doesn't really have loading screens, which no. is pretty good. Uh, regarding the combat, someone asked if I was hating on the game, and no, I was hating on Marty's uh, dumb choice to do all the combat with that dumb stick. You mean the stick of truth? The dumb stick. No, I think it's great. Dude, my, my, my fun hammer is... It's way less cool than, than parry. What are you dodging. talking about? Powers can parry. I don't parry. Cautious? He tells you that every time. Alright, we're gonna do. Look, I assassinated one man, we'll assassinate another man. Well, everyone can get their good assassinations. Ooh. I didn't even see that man. He did. Yeah, no, he's quite dead. You hit him with a rock. I think there's a man inside this. You didn't, uh, call center? Did. Maybe find them all. Look like this. Well, no, they must be. Oh, okay. Usually, when it does that hot beat sound, it means someone's nearby. But oh. yeah, yeah, there it is. You can do your jump attack now if you want to climb on the top of that. Just do a good jumpy takedown, like. Hey, what? Oh wow, that <laughs> did not I hit the wrong, I hit the wrong button. But you know what I have? Where did all See? these men come yeah, from? Yeah, I feel like you didn't use the bub. No, the bird flew very high. Remember? See, so I'm gonna wait when that man the did the spear thing and it uh, lit up orange, um, generally you would press the dodge button to move away from that. Oh, oh. I accidentally went into photo oh. mode. I get very excited every once in a while. I like photo mode a lot. Yeah. Um, and when you parry, that is by holding one of the shoulder buttons on a controller and basically just before someone hits you, uh, for me it was press the B button. That was pretty dope. That was pretty good. Yeah, you know who we could thank for that? The hammer. The takedown ability. I like to think that my character, I play as the hammer, and I just so happen to have a man. And I've equipped a man named Bayek. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm it's deep. That. That's gonna be it's very deep. Oh, damn it. <laughs> God, can someone, damn you. Can someone clip that out? That's <laughs> gonna be flammable. Oh, damn it. That will also be flammable. Yeah, but I'll run away. Can't set me on fire. That's following me! It's really Get following you. Oh no! Wow! <laughs> Why is it following me? What are you, me? some kind of god? Ah, oh, that was. How did this guy not notice this? He's like, hmm, someone might be here. All of your friends are All dead. Alright, why is the fire still following I really like your fire trail. There you go. <laughs> why am I on fire? Because you stood in the oil and it fire can jump. Fire well, can absolutely jump. Fire. How do you that's think not a it gets across of roads? Fire. It's not definitely not jumping. Who's this man? I don't, wanna, I don't know what he's <laughs> looking at. Are you just a civilian? Yeah. Oh, no, that is not a civilian. That is absolutely English. 
You know what? I like to think. Anyway, how about Fast Stream Boy? I think he was a. I think he was sus. By uh, yeah. Ra. Um, Hazard Sniper asks, why is the staff blue? Certain weapons, based on the ability that they do, will have like a kind of blue to them. So that's a poison that's, thing. That to is it. a poison yeah. thing. Yeah, there's like poison, uh, there's bleed. Happy Accidents asks, what is that yellow bar above the health? That is like uh, what's called overpower, mm -hmm. and that's an ability that you can get into in combat that, depending on what weapon you're using, um, there's this mode that you can go into where you do extra damage. There is uh, one of them with the sword, most often, where you like kind of do a charge attack. I yeah. use that a lot it, in boss fight. It, uh, w its effect uh, changes depending on which weapon yes. you use it on. Uh, I call it my tantrums. Because when I click it, I get my tantrums. Yours would be tan tantrumy. Yeah, yeah. I, get, I get my tantrums. Yours is and the, just... the, the kind of slow down, but extra It's like slow down, thing. but then he just he goes, he just does his tantrums. He does do tantrums, yeah. Um, and those, you build up pretty quickly. There are also more abilities around those that you can unlock that let you either like go into combat with it automatically mm -hmm. at the top or whatever. Um, but I used it pretty much every time it was full. Yeah, my used. thing is, I think the reason I like this, uh, this weapon I have so much is that my version... Uh, each kill uh, raises a little back. Uh, the yeah the aggression back. Yeah, aggression. That's what it's called. Or tantrums. Tantrums are also a good name for it. Yeah. Um, so Raleigh Patel asks, can you blend into crowds? No, you cannot. Uh, yeah, they got rid of that. That is not a thing. I kind of missed that. That was so much of AC one. Just the. Yeah, and they like sort of like got rid of a lot of like the benches and stuff that you sit on to yeah. blend in. Ah, yeah, it is yeah. a little less assassiny. Yeah. How can I use the buttons? Of well, you literally aren't an assassin Tonight, actually at this point. We so. will stage a grand so spectacle. Our goddess because this is the origins? The yeah. Against Isbet's chaos. But you are a uh, Medje, which is the high priest basically um, the lessons. highest order of like a, a god for Pharaoh. Yeah, I like, it's like a, a you're like it a religious sheriff. You for a further favor. Kinda. Sort of, yeah. Yeah. Pamu does like a drink now and again. Same. <laughs> it you, Pamu. It me, the Pamu. Um, what kind of, Where did that quest even come from? Uh, he gave me two of them, I believe. Oh, no, he just gave me this one. Oh, let me see if any of my... Uh, we haven't really futzed with the gear at all. Okay, we'll do this shield. Still, really, still really like this weapon. Uh, Brayden Jean Fro, that's a fancy name. Asks how long are the loading screens? Not very long, and they're also not very common. They only <laughs> the time there are loading screens is if you are fast traveling. So, kind of brought it on yourself. Mm -hmm. But no, not a lot of loading screens. Uh, people kind of talking about what sort of version of the game we have. Um, this is the full game, it's just without the day one patch. So we have about half of the day one patch, is what they say. Mm -hmm. um, so this is not a different copy. No, so this isn't like a preview ball or anything. Yeah. This must be Pamu. What's up, Pamu? The man stinks of beer. Pick this man up. Oh, thank you. I've been trying to get him to leave for hours. Someone asked why it's called Assassin Creed if you're not an assassin. Part of the story. It's almost we'll like this is that. the origins. And someone also asked, why don't you have a hood on? Marty, turn the hood off. That is a toggle option. You can have your hood on. So. I prefer hood off. I prefer hood off also. I even, so the character I've been uh, running around as in South Park uh, is wearing the Assassin's Creed thing, but I also took my hood off. Oh, you got that from <coughs> Uplay? Uh, yeah, I had like Uplay points for some reason, so I was able to redeem that. I, don't know. I just okay. refused to log into my Uplay. When it told me to, I was like, not doing that. Oh, so you'd not play? I I don't think not play is the opposite of you play. No, you not play. Not and you play. You. No, you not play. <laughs> oh damn it, buddy. Uh, this also has you play integration, of course, as everyone. I was also asking, can you take off your shield like unequip it? Uh, I don't know. I never tried. Can you do that? Can I don't you, know why you would wait, want you to what? do that. Can you unequip your shield? Oh. I don't no. think so. No, I think you always have one of these equipped. But I, again, I don't know why you would want to unequip your shield or why you are. I mean, maybe an aesthetic thing, because like you always have your shield on your back. Like whatever weapons and stuff you have appears on your what character. Mm -hmm. His passion for toasting Sechmet has exceeded his head for drink. 
This is a disaster. People have come from the Redland and the Black to see him fight. If a fight is all that is needed, I could replace him. Of course, Magi. You honor yourself in saving me from disgrace. Speak to the high priest in the temple courtyard. He I'm gonna, gonna fight some more. Someone asked, uh, is there sex in this game? Technically not. There's less sex than there was in Assassin's Creed 2 Fewer. slash Brotherhood, which had actual sex scenes. Definitely less than The Witcher 3. There's, there's like, there's some implied there's penetration. Implied. Oh boy. You really just threw that one out of here. Yeah. At, uh, here at 11 a.m. <laughs> Might be the earliest I've ever it's said like, that right, word. let's just chuck the, the <laughs> penetration one out there. And there we go. All you right. can't call it just, the uh, penetration just, word. Just really okay, it's it. just penetration. Just it. That's All just right. the yep. word. Okay, just dropped it right in there. All right, so I can kill a man with my war hammer, but I can't talk about Penny. Your <laughs> I'm here to fight for uh, You're not Pamu. Do you think that's what short, like, if you go to Olive Garden, Pamu is you order the Penny? Is that what short for? He is recovering. No, Marty, it's not. Fine. It's a completely different thing. Follow me. Olive Garden isn't a brothel. Yep, we're at Olive Garden. <laughs> Uh, Arturo Serrato said, can you use the fast forward day button to revive your health? So, to use that button you have to be out of combat anyway, mm -hmm. um, and this is the outfit that I wore the entire game. Uh, you Why do I really not even remember this? Oh, this really is the is fight. The this with the stick? Yes. Uh, yeah, well, I guess it's, oh, we'll be able to see, uh, we can sort of explain how the health regeneration works in combat. Yeah, and it's. I was very careful about it actually. I spent a lot of time trying to make sure my health would regenerate in combat. But you, yeah, you wouldn't really need to use the buff. It was actually really weird to me. Like multiple times, I was like, I feel like I should have a, a health potion. Mm -hmm. Like, oh yeah, you games, don't. There aren't potions or anything. Potions yeah. I. Uh... Uh, Alan Philip asked, "Can you do a sword?" Yes, I can. But only a specific type of sword. I think Which is a cool type. this was the thing I tried playing either when I got home Friday night or when I got home after hanging out Saturday night. Oh, when you were real drunk? Really drunk, and I lost so many times. So we'll see how, how completely sober me is. Do you good dodges? I'm going to do very good dodges. Do a good dodge. The thing about this, though, is I, can't, I don't have my tantrums and I don't have my sword. You do have your tantrums. No, I don't, but I don't have my, I don't have my, my hickory stick. And then bail. So it's like, depending on the enemy, a lot of them will have um, a C. Ah. That means you could have parried it. Uh, they will have a hit ratio of like three. But uh, depending on the kind of enemy they do change. This this fight does take a little while. Because, like he's got a lot of help. So if you bail right now, so now you're down to the second health bar, you can get that back up to the top. But I tended to do combat really, really slowly. And then I would, if someone even took off a slither of ah. health, I would bail from them, get the health back, and then go back into combat. But you can't bail. It regenerates. Well, I mean, stay away from him. Is what I mean. I but just, I mean, like, avoid him at all it won't go back up, I think, in this fight. Yes, it will. Oh? Well, it can only go up one bar, but it, yeah. like, see it's up. But because you've got the first bar down, you can't get a bar back if you've lost. Unless you uh, end combat. Yes. When he blocks you, I think it's, um, you probably just got to do a heavy attack. Oh, but you wouldn't have the ability to charge the heavy attack either. So this is part of uh, a story ah. that's like going on right now. This is like part of a play. Yeah. And you're actually doing it because uh, I think one of your friends got drunk. Yeah, that was that man that we carried back. Yeah, that real that drunk up. boy. Oh man, I'm gonna do my tantrum soon, Alana. Oh yeah, you can could, you could do that tantrum right now. There you go. This is your aggression mode. Oh, that didn't, my tantrums that was failed me. maybe not great timing for that. There you go, get him back. So I think it maybe makes you move faster as well. Yeah, with the staff. Yeah. That was, that was good, sneak up behind. One nice thing is, uh, if I die, which I'm probably going to, when I restart the fight, he has less health than he did before. Let's see if he comes back if I do this. Oh, it comes back if I'm not targeted. Might Last, uh, will the Assassin's Creed Collector's Edition guide help us step by step and find the best weapons in the game? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> I know we're going to have a very in depth wiki uh, come back on launch date that will help us with all that stuff. Yeah, we've got people working on wikis literally right now. Yeah. 
Um, someone asked, can you keep that outfit? Yes, this is the outfit that I use for the entire game. Yeah, I think any outfit you get in like the Anything story that mode, you are given. you're able to... Yeah. <laughs> Spoonman said, definitely a step down graphically from the X version. I'm sorry, my dude, how would you know? <laughs> like, I played it on the X version and it did not have um, well, HDR said, available well, for definitely. whatever reason. Ah, Ooh, yikes. the tantrums! Tantrums failed me. Oh, I'm getting the moisties again. He's getting in. This, this fight is not easy. Because he's uh, got so much health. Yeah, but now he comes back and he has less health, yes. which is a little bit nicer. He's just also, like, way bigger than you. He's just a, a and he's a beefy boy, boy, and I don't like... I don't know, I'm bad at his tells. You don't like beef? Mm. Oh, but he's just a beefy boy! Just do good dodges, that's it. Float like a butterfly, sting like a coward. I mean, you do have a shield, so if you hold. Um, the oh yeah, I, have, left I really bumper, haven't been doing that at all. Have a. You, you focus well, on that's him, because and then you press uh, when he's just about to hit you. If you press circle, that is what will make you parry, and then he will like get knocked back, and then I'll let him. Knock back. Well, because you've been using the mace so much, like if that's your playstyle, you kind of like don't need to. As yeah. Much. But using the sword, like I have to use parry quite a bit. His weapon is bathed in Sephet's fire. His weapon's not on fire, or is that he's bathed in Sephet's fire? You know who was bathed in that fire? Me. Remember, remember when the fire? Yeah, no, that fire is caught up with you. Ah, damn it. Did Adrian Tosca asked, did you play through the entire game already? I have finished the game. I have not. I'm reviewing it. My review will be up, so I'll say his weapon is made in You gotta stop saying that, it's clearly and not. Those good. asking about microtransactions, yes, there are. We'll go more in depth on that one. Oh, damn it! So he'd be, he'd be, oh, he'd be quite he'd dead. He'd be so dead and his genitals would be it's gone. Also just like, I don't buy that he's level 7. No, this dude's like, bossed here. Sure. Yeah, so when he um, does that shield thing, it's basically like it's trying to tell you that it wants you to parry. This actually, this fight could be a thing that's like, learn to parry, it'll be handy. And you're like, but I just use a mace. Why do I need to do that? I need to do that when I have my, chi <laughs> my, my, my child sword. Damn it! But I feel like this is a good demonstration for people who are being like, this looks really easy. No, there are totally challenges, and the boss fights are all challenging. Um, there's like one that's kind of the final boss fight, and on that, well, I mean, I only died three yeah, times, but it drove me... shouldn't talk about the boss fight. Well, I'm not going to talk about it, I just mean in terms of the cookie. Um, I died three times, but it drove me crazy and took me a really long time. Very frustrated. And there's another one where I died, I think, probably around three times as well. Um, but that that said, I play, them, I play through the boss fights very, very, very slowly. Like me? Well, like the fact that you had just taken damage means, well, yeah, I guess you kind of are doing it. That I would stay away from him to get the health back. And then Israel Torres said, hello from Mexico, Alana. Hello, friend. Wow, rude. I'm just going to be so angry. And yeah, people asking why Marty is running in circles. That is, again, health regeneration. Oh, why don't you use your tantrums? Because every time I use my tantrums, bad things happen. It's not helping you? No, it's hindering me. Mm. I feel like I read his tells worse. Oh, well, probably because you're like, oh, I want to take advantage of it. Yeah. One thing that's really funny with the sword one is it makes you, like, run in, stab, and then walk back out. Uh, sometimes you can miss. <laughs> And then you're like, oh so no! You just run in and you just keep running until you hit a wall and then it like pulls you back out. <laughs> but it usually when that happens, it gives you the full bar back. It just looks very funny. That was a good dodge. Try to do a good shield bash on you. Uh, Gunkle. Yeah, so as soon as he does that swing thing, he always has his, his um, shield up. Really that one's good. It's just annoying that he gets knocked back after three hits as well. It's yeah. I'll tell you, ask what I mean by half of the map is almost empty. Um, 
I definitely didn't say that, uh, but a lot of the map is empty. Um, it's just deserts, and they do have things in them. I'm not going to say what they are. Like, you will find things in the deserts, and they're also, like, enemies that can populate different yeah. areas. Uh, but basically, there are places that are just barren deserts that don't have any cities or towns in them. But they will still have things to do. Ooh, you're so close, though. Bail! Oh boy. Oh boy! This is very stressful. Damn it! As you weaken, I grow stronger. Chaos will reign! That's also objectively untrue. As you weaken, uh as, sorry, as you grow stronger, he weakens. Yeah, I become... <laughs> That's the point. He's literally the opposite of what he's saying. Uh, someone said... Um, oh, and people that just keep saying, let her play. Uh, I'm obviously, if I wanted to play, I would. It's not stopping me from playing. I've played so much of this game. Someone said, come on, IGN must allow her to play. There's not some pre where someone just like, don't let the woman play. Yeah, well, I don't, what? <laughs> They're also saying we're not reading the chat. He's Definitely reading the chat. Weapon is oh, someone said that they could see the score dropping by uh, because of this gameplay. I've actually already decided the score, so nothing in this stream will change the score unless you find something that I like, totally didn't know about. But the game got played, so racist. Hours, <laughs> I wouldn't score less for being racist than anything. Really, that's problematic. Is it? We'll talk about that after. <laughs> is it like with Japan? <laughs> See? Super There's easy. There's definitely racism in this game. Some people are saying that the game's hard, but I think it's just simple. Yeah, you nailed that. You did a great job. I think I'm actually shaking. Again, it's because you play with the, the dumb hammer, and thus... Look you, at that man. Why is that man wearing a diaper? A good... I could swear you were the blood eater herself. Also, I really don't like that he still has uh, the head on that thing. Uh, the I'm not priests that recounting on the battle leopard. between the goddess and Isfet was mm -hmm. On his body. He it still has its face on it. Invention. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm not hear it outside Yamu. Would that you'd agree to stay with us longer, but I know that greater. So we have. I'll say goodbye to the children just before I leave. Over forty-five minutes. Do so. They'll miss you. Left of you the stream. You are always welcome. Um, young. and again, people Whenever are answering a lot of the same questions. Um, and I try not to be too repetitive on the stream because I'm sure it would drive anyone to finish and it's not totally crazy. To really do lots of the same stuff. Well, like, what are you playing on again? We're playing on PS5. What would you give uh, it? What score would you give it? Can't answer that yet. Banana. Um, Marty said banana. If you want to ask any questions that um, haven't been answered while you've been watching, uh, tweet with the hashtag IGN plays live and I will go in on my own Twitter and I will answer them for you. Um, but of course, because uh, the full embargo is not until uh, later uh, this week, there's stuff that I can't do. I can go to Alexandria. Uh, Frosty asks, can you block or parry or just dodge? You can do yes, all those. Can uh, I don't. Marty just does not. Mitchell, I can go to Alexandria, right? I believe you can, but I didn't read the streaming. Um, Stay away from story missions. It just story stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, so we can go and once we get to Alexandria, there's a hell of a side quest. Um, Tommy J asks about the modern day stuff. I'm trying not to talk about any of that kind of stuff, um, about the meta narrative stuff, because I don't want to spoil anything for anyone. But it's fine. There's, there is some some stuff in the game that ties into previous games in the like kind of sci-fi sense that I love. So yes, that's very good point. Uh, M Walker has asked a couple of times, I think, how many mounts can you choose from? Um, you can buy a bunch of them. There are stables everywhere, so you have the option to buy different kinds of mounts. Um, I used the camel the entire game because they didn't get. But yeah, there are different ones there. And um, so, ah, different stables. I couldn't tell you the exact one. I don't know about those. Ah, it's the king of the vultures. Does that man? I don't think I'm doing very well against the king of the vultures. Yeah, you're doing alright. They only ran out of ammo, but yeah, I think the hunter bow would make it easier because it's kind of. Right here. Yeah. 
He ran away. He's a coward. Riley Brew has said, without giving it a review score, do all the changes make you feel excited for the future of the series? Whoa. I don't think I can really answer that question in that I don't know what the future of the series is, and this, like, this game being the way that it ah, is doesn't I thought that was a dead hippo. future games will be the same. Why are you, why are you fight the hippo? I thought it was a dead hippo. I mean, you fight the hippo. Though. You know why I fight the hippo? Because I got my stick back. And because that boy's a, a captain. He's a captain hippo. You get XP for that. Wow, he's an angry Captain Hippo. They're Lana, pretty quick. Why did you make me do this? I didn't. You said, why don't you fight the hippo, you coward. Well, you fought the wrong hippo. You were shamed you were from your battle. The wrong hippo. Fight the hippo. Oh, God, get on the camel. There you go. That's a, oh, wow, he's quite quite a good hippo. He's good at hippoing. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, God. <laughs> I just think it's very scary that he runs at you with his mouth open. And he's like, he's, I think that hippo is, you can't no, climb can't that, you climb can't climb that. And I think that hippo is like bigger than you. Look at him running with his mouth all open. Close your mouth. Oh God, the other one's coming. <laughs> oh, I forgot I have these. Shield me, brother. I uh, the hippo doesn't care about fire. The hippo doesn't care about fire. The hippo's on fire! The hippo is on fire. Yeah, good. Yeah. Alright, that hippo's dead. Feel good about that. Can you dive underwater? Yes, yes. Well, look at can. these look at this man's fighting the hippo. I don't know who he is, but. Uh young CA asks, is the game story long? Yes, quite long. It is definitely longer than your average success. Oh, you killed him. It's like Ace Ventura. Oh, and then you went inside of him. It's like Ace Ventura when, oh, he, com when he comes out of the butt. Wait, wait. <laughs> if only you could get rid of your dumb hammer, then it would be great. Don't you ever speak ill of my hammer. You know what I hate now? Hammers. Just in general? Hey, no. Who's that man? Why did he yell at me? So this is a uh, one of the various like little outposts that you can find in the game. It's just um, a location objectives that I did a lot of because you get 450 XP for every one of them, and sometimes they take a second. Defense. So you just have to find some treasure in there, pretty much. If you hold down um, L3, it'll tell you exactly what the location objectives are for every single place that you go. And this one's actually kind of big, though, but I don't. So they might. This one might even be like a killer captain kind of situation, but. Uh, I'm gonna hold down L3. Yeah, kill Captain Loot Treasure. And if you use center, you can find out what all of those things are. Right. Um, but it's kind of fun to not do it that way. It can be fun to um, do it without falling in center. But the outposts are for sure my favorite part. I could have played a full game. Just I like the outposts a lot. Oh, yeah. there's hella dudes on there. See, it would be a lot easier if you had a bow on you. I have a bow. But di didn't you use all your um, arrows? Sorry, Amy. Oh yeah. Um, usually at outposts, it's really easy to find arrows. arrows yeah. Um, that's I actually one was in one for so long um, that was like three levels higher than me, uh, and I was there for a long time, and I ran out of arrows. And it turned out that you can uh, loot something too much. Oh really? So I like would I would go up on the roof, yeah. I would get headshots, and then I would go back down and get more oh, arrows. And um, eventually they stopped giving me arrows. Yeah. So that's uh, scattered pretty liberally throughout the world. Um, are these? Yeah. These things. And they uh, give back all of your ammo, all of your uh, arrows, and all of your uh, tools. Mm-hmm. Pretty handy. Do you have a predator bug? Uh, I don't. They are... Oh, my favorite. They'll be able to do some good stealth. Some good stealth. You can also press the uh, down button on the D-pad to whistle, kind of. Um, yeah, I don't... I prefer not to cat call. Hold on. That's fair.
people asking a lot if outfits are cosmetic or do they add stats. Outfits are mostly cosmetic. Outfits cosmic? They are, yeah, quite cosmic. Have you have you done a lot of stuff with these dual swords? Yeah, I've used a dual sword for a bit. Yeah. Dual. I said dual, I don't like it. Dual? In weird American speak. Dual. Dual. Jewel? Jewel. This one. This will be this is definitely a quality of life one because this gives you the ability to toggle weapons in the middle of combat. So we'll see how those dual swords are going. Someone asked a question, is there a lot of snakes? Uh, there are a fair amount of snakes. And the thing with the snakes is they show up when you least expect them and it's I very have, scary. I have had some snakes. It's I, very I scary. entered a place and there were no snakes and then I exited a place and there were several snakes. The worst one that I had is I was like, cool, I'm in this I'm in this nice area. I'm gonna loot all of this. I'm gonna jump down here and then there were like seven snakes and it was yeah. terrible. Get those also Indiana sometimes Jones you'll like open up a pot and then there'll be a snake in the pot. I really got scared of snakes. Are you talking about real life? Yeah, just in general. I got lots of snake pots. You gotta cook your, you gotta go cook your back beans. Back in Australia. Cook your beans, then all of a sudden there's a, a snake. <laughs> a goddamn snake in the pot. Oh uh, yeah, uh, mounts can't go through water. What wants to fight me? Your camel trying to make oh, you that, go through. Is that a crocodile? <laughs> That's a crocodilia. Alexandria. This is one of my favorite locations in the game. And you level up way faster at the start of the game. Like, yeah. you went from level six to level nine in an hour and a half, and I think later in the game it like takes you like an hour and a half to get one level. Killed the crocodile. Yeah. Uh, Jermaine Hampton said, "Do you feel as though the gear really makes a difference, or is it just more of a collection mechanic?" Um, it gives you a lot of choice. So the thing that I like the most about it is. Different weapon types handle very, very differently, and I feel like because of the way that mechanic works, you're often thinking, uh, oh, well, maybe I could use this in this circumstance, or maybe I should consider this different weapon, and because they do such different things, um, it definitely adds to it. Mm -hmm. But weapons aren't as distinct from one another um, as they are in a game like Destiny. They're not quite the same. I don't know. I think I have a pretty iconic weapon. Your weapon sucks. Oh, weapon's great. Jester asks, does Origins get boring after playing for a while, or does it have more to do than all the AC games? Again, I played for about 50 hours, and I was not bored at any point. Some of the grinding, I guess, um, when I was trying to get through the main quest, it sucked to have to grind in, in some parts, but um, no, I definitely don't think the game gets boring. Maybe if you 100% finished it? Yeah, I mean, on every collectible, any, any, but anything eventually gets it's boring. It's also pretty subjective. Yeah. I'm sure eventually it would get boring. You did the same game every day for the rest of your life. Yeah. Unless it was threes. Unless it was threes. Man, threes is a good game. Threes is a very good game. Yeah. It's called tens. Like ten. Did we review the threes? So no. few Egyptians are coming to tempt them. Where are my Seni and Senu? Same. So we did. 9.3 out of 10. 9.3 out of 10. Please. I think Mitch reviewed it. Dan. Yeah, Mitch definitely reviewed it. Definitely Dan. Fancy music. Great Serapis. Vaped Panda. You, you guys interact, interact with fans. Hello, Vaped Panda. This is us reading things. I don't. Welcome. Not brother. since the incident. Uh, the Thank incident. you, priest. It is good to see Egyptians come back. Since my drummer was jailed, it has been. Since my drummer was jailed, my jam band hasn't Silence been the same. Is striking. A tanner jailed my drummer, accused him of stealing a precious Nubian lion skin from the dive. What happens? Poor Dibats? soul even worked for him. Tragic. He is an honest man. I was going to tell you to go to the library, but I realized that the next main quest requires you to go to the library, so if you go there, you'll activate it. Magi, my Can't do that, but the Library of Alexandria is cool. Oh, this is the library. I'm going to the library. I would not do that. I think that the next main quest requires you to go to the library. This, this quest is asking me to go to the library. Well, maybe if you have this one activated and you, don't just, you just don't talk to the person, but I'm worried that if you go there, you'll get a cutscene for the story. But isn't that, isn't that fun? He just said I couldn't do this snick. 
Uh, is that fine, Mitchell? Are we allowed to do the next main quest? At all? Okay. That's fine. I'll do Serapis yeah. Rippers. Serapis? I'm gonna find the drummer. Yeah, that's the guy you were just talking to, right? Yeah, you can do that. A couple of people are saying, can we see map? Yeah, I guess it's been an hour and a half since we last showed the map. This is what the map looks like. So this is Alexandria. This is Alexandria. So this is the city we were at earlier. And then we took this trip. And then I fought some hippos here. Mm -hmm. Now we're in Alexandria. Mm -hmm. And then we zoom out. And these are some things. And these are some things. And these are where the pyramids are. And then we zoom out more. And this is all different stuff. Nailed it. This is Memphis, Tennessee. And you can see the different levels on them, which is like which uh, kind of quests will be in those yeah, areas. Yeah, like preferred level. Which isn't actually super accurate. Yep. Like sometimes you'll find like a level 9 quest <laughs> in a level 30 area, but it, it varies. Yeah. This is like the opening area. And then that you, is where Bayek okay. is from. Yep. Bayek of Siwa. Hey, what are you about? I love Alexandria though. I really, really this love it. This is a cool city. Spent a lot of time here. Look in real life? Yeah, just in general. Overall. In Alexandria state of mind. Uh... Mohammed Zatari asked, is the weather change? Um, there are sandstorms. But aside from that. And Bar Azalat asked, the game is released from when? The game comes out on Friday. Correct. Right. Your review will be up at 4 a.m. on Thursday morning. PT. Yes. Playable teaser. Well, it's Silent Hill. No one's on. Yeah. This. Garrison. Is it? No, this isn't the one I was thinking of. There's one that's in Alexandria. Uh, F. That was a bad move on my part. Why don't you just have a cool mace fight with that guy? Y'all both got big old hammers. He's a kind of heavier enemy. Wow, he's really chasing you now. He's like a man hippo. He is like a man hippo, but his mouth is less open. <laughs> you don't know what's going on under that helmet. You're like, ah. I like that the arrows stay sticking out of them until they die. So they don't just fade away. Oh, a lot of the men are out here now. Oh, you should kill that boy. So him calling the troops means that he will get reinforcements. Yeah, I'm not scared. I, man, every time that one of those did that, I just went all in. Just get to the top. Just please get to the top. You can also, um... Yeah, maybe. Basically what they do is they light a oh, fire there. Can I set the trap? Yeah. <laughs> and bail. That's exactly what I was going to say you could do. <laughs> Get wrecked. That was good. That felt good. You know whose face is gone? Batman's. Him? Because it got burnt off. Ow. What the... He just kind of pushed you and you're like, ow! These men are poison now. My poison will kill you. I very much like poisoning someone and leading them with the bleeding damage and then just kind of walking away when they're on low health. Yeah. Good luck with that. I wanted someone to run out of here and I could set them all on fire. But you'd also cast yourself. No, out. not if I do my not if I do my quickies. I'm gonna be honest, you have not been straight with that. What doing the quickies? Yike! Uh, with uh, not lighting a hammer. Louis Tyler said what I liked about AC games is there are a lot of people in the street which helped with the atmosphere. That's a weirdly specific thing to like about the like that's the thing you liked about the Assassin's Creed games. That's an interesting I one. Think the, I think the um, games are really good at atmosphere in that respect. This game has great atmosphere. No, I totally agree with that comment. It's just like this is the specific thing that I like about them. It's like not only colorful, but um, there are less people on the streets in this game than there have been in yeah, previous games that like cars. Unity like focused on. Um, that was like their selling, selling point. point. Yeah, whereas this doesn't so much. It's not as important to the game. Tantrums! Yes, there is a fast travel. Oh my god, there's so many men. Oh, Alana, everything went badly. I'm running away. Please get out of my way. I don't know what happened. Uh, you, I mean, you alerted all of them immediately. Oh. You walked up to the first guy and then you alerted the entire camp okay. immediately. Okay. That's what went wrong. I don't know why I jumped. 
I think that might have been a glitch. You shouldn't have even been able to jump off that building. That we was We don't call very them glitches, weird. we call them decentralizations. <laughs> Big Ubisoft trademark term is uh, decent. Yep, yep, yep. I, like, I do this in the loading screens, it looks really weird. He looks like a weird slithering yeah. snake man. He makes that noise. Oh, I forgot I was doing an actual mission, trying to find this drummer boy. Uh, Broken Series Black said, what are the different types of archery weapons and can you upgrade each bow? There is a light bow, a hunter bow, predator bow, um, this one there? Yeah. The warrior, the warrior bow. bow. The light bow is pretty much like a machine gun bow. The warrior bow fires several arrows at once. The hunter bow is like a traditional pullback, weight, and fire. And the predator bow gives you that sort of... No, the predator bow is the one that goes first person. Yeah. But you only get that thing from an, up, uh, an upgrade. So it, it goes first person, it's great for headshots. Like, the way that I approach a lot of these circumstances is I would sit on top of the roof and then just look down, line up headshots one by one and just take them off with the predator bow. Um, and as for upgrading them, you, you can craft stuff to upgrade the amount of damage that you do with ranged attacks. Um, and yeah, you can upgrade things at a blacksmith. Basically, if you have a low level uh, weapon, you can upgrade them to be the same level as me. So that works pretty well. But um, aside from that, it's mostly just like a loot system. Again, review embargo is Thursday at 4 a.m. Um, for the people asking questions that I am not answering, if you put them in caps, it doesn't necessarily make it more likely that I will answer them. Uh, use the hashtag IGN plays live on Twitter and I will get back to you. Doesn't necessarily. Well, people are just asking the same thing, like, show the map! And like, we, we've shown it. <laughs> keep doing that. So feel free to ask me stuff on Twitter and after the stream, I will answer any questions that I have. I cannot help but think. You seem cheerful for a man. Uh, crazy AG on on. This is the best day of my life. Um, my Mixer asks where we're streaming. Oh, we are currently streaming on IGN, uh, on Twitch, on YouTube, on Mixer. Um, reading the IGN plays live hashtag on Twitter and on Twitch. And we will be streaming for another pop call. Oh, I have to carry this man. So many men who need carrying in this game. That's true. There are you got to carry a lot of men, and often you just have to kind of just lay them down, and then they catch you. Nothing, you would be correct. That is where you come in, friend. Weird that I have to lay him down to talk to him. Cause I'm like, you're on my shoulder. I know. Like, like we're already talking. Yeah. Like, this is very intimate right now. Of course. Return that skin and clear my name. Skin. Who stole the lion skin? Okay. I'll look at this hammer. It's a it's a snack, but also has a ball. I think it's I terrible. The crowd. It happened in the Egyptian I like his hair though. The snake has a cool sort of mohawk thing going on. Why are you doing Egyptian that? Is that snake noise? Have you actually ever encountered a snake? I think so. <laughs> like, do you know that that's not how it's that Yeah, I think they do that with the tongue. Just need to rest my leg. I've encountered a few snakes in my time. Then I will go and meet the priest. You clear my name. <laughs> <laughs> I always feel like it looks so dumb if we laugh on a stream because we both laugh silently. So it's just like. Uh, fan I haven't found any fancy camels yet. I've only been using like my, my Bush League start off. Oh, uh, yeah, I mostly only use the camel. You, you find them in uh, stables, so you can. Um, yeah, the them. rule asks how big is this game with side quests, etc.? It's real big. 30. It's 30? Yeah. 30 bigs? No, it's a large game. I don't know how to answer that. In specifics, I have played 50 hours and there is still more content. It makes World of Warcraft look like solitaire. Alana Pierce, IGN. I did not say that at all. Looks like it makes Minecraft look like Minesweeper. Alana Pierce, IGN. Wow, has someone said that before? Because that's actually like pretty solid. Solid. That is just not that. Jump my camel, jump! <laughs> Look at this camel! Oh, this camel! Oh, he died. No, I think he's good. Vape Fander is just is on, on a mixer, just getting real mad about people not paying attention to us. He said, These streams are for the fans. I'm gonna be honest, Vape Panda. Do you have any idea who we are? 
Are you just a man on Mexico? Well, like, do you know who we are? What do you mean they're for the fans? Um, but also, I'm not really on that on that chat very much because it's mostly just people I'll arguing about what Look at that sword. Get right out of it. What do you mean they're for the fans? I don't get my like, question. He's mad that we're not replying to his comments, but I have replied to two of them. Doubt he knows who we are. Um, Does anyone know who they are, Alana? Oh, I'm gonna do a, ho a horseback tantrum! That's cool. I love the horseback tantrum. Also, those boys are level 10. Look at you go. Wasn't uh, horseback. I swear. Wasn't horseback tantrum the name of that movie we'll have to get cowboys? <laughs> I'm pretty good joke. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> back Mountain Colin Horseback. Back <laughs> uh, Wait, where's his uh, where's his lion skin? I gotta find. I was right there. I gotta I gotta get off my horse. Can't possibly get the lion skin while I'm on the horse. Uh, oh, it's poison. Peter L said, "How many bugs we found so far?" Um, I managed to capture about five. What is a scarab? Seeing, and I will I will I'm gonna. There's one I'm very excited to share on my Twitter on Thursday morning. <laughs> it's just a breakout that I have of this bug that was very funny. Um, but some of them will be in the review as well, which again. Review embargo is Thursday morning at 5 4 a.m. Also, there are people in the YouTube chat who just keep saying the same thing over and over again in caps. I can see it, but you're not saying it to me, so I'm not gonna read it. Like, just, yeah, I keep saying it if you want. What? It's just people just saying the same thing for a second. Oh no, what happened? What? What are your drums? Oh, I set the barn on fire. My horse is on fire. Yeah, Everything went badly. In your camel, it's quite easy to catch yourself on fire. Oh, you may so die. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And and there, fire of Siwa, burned to death. Then the prince comes. That's not how it happened. <laughs> uh, Lars asks, what are your pros and cons about the new combat system? Pros, the hammer. Cons. Cons, every the other hammer. Weapon. <laughs> pros, uh, it's more thoughtful. Um, Boss fights mean a lot more. Uh, there are like different kinds of bosses in the game. Uh, I, I like the parry system when uh, when I need it because a lot of the time you can just hack through combat. But it's if you want to give yourself a challenge, it's really important. Or if someone is like a few levels higher than you, it's really important. And I like the dodge system a whole lot. Um, there are also a lot of uh, different enemy types that are slowly introduced as you go through the different kinds of levels. So there's a lot of variety there. And like you know, there'll be someone who even if they are the same. Levels you is so well armored that you can't use your hidden blade to assassinate them, and that's the kind of stuff you have to do. So. I really just want to climb this wall. I want to, just want to get to the top. Yeah, do it. Just been trying several times. Nailed it! Yes. Couldn't have done it without your support. Uh -oh. That's what I'm here for, man. From viewers like me. Something seems off here. Bench pays it. That's more of a gamer tag. That is a lot more of a gamer tag. That other one seemed made up. Uh, Propos, hey, Alana, what's your favorite Assassin's Creed game? My personal favorite is actually Brotherhood. Um, I like Black Flag a lot. I have the most fondness for AC2, like, in a nostalgic kind of way, but Brotherhood is my favorite. I think mine goes Black Flag, then Syndicate, then... I really like Revelations. I'm a, I'm a weird person that really likes Revelations. I liked Revelations. I really liked the Altaïa stuff in Revelations. Yeah, like, I liked the fact that we got to... An old man, Ezio, who like, I like to call Old Zia. I am the wrong party here. My skin was I was so sad when the game ended. And also, there were too many people with that, that crappy, like, haircut. <laughs> the Costanza. By needing to set up this. Too many of this. This is your answer, priest. Extortion. Fine. I feel Serapis I cannot ride the camel have a walk. long road ahead of us. Can't ride a camel what? Blessings on your journey, brother. Uh, you can't ride the camel in the water with people asking about that. Why don't you do that? That old saying. That old chestnut. You can take a camel to water. There are no barbers in the game. Oh my god, this cat is moving quickly and doing my best. I wish to serve Serapis further, if you have need. You there cannot finish this game in 10 hours. I assure you that that would be impossible. Well, maybe someone could do it with they take a tithe, hands, but no. Then take double for themselves. They bring it to their arsenal and share it with their Philakitai. The people now starve. Can you moderate in Mixer? You are. Can you remove the man who called me the sea word? I wait among the people at the docks. It's fine. And they're like, why aren't you in this chat? I'm like, well, that's the reason why. I'm not acknowledging the fact that 
<laughs> you call me the sea <laughs> Oh god. Oh, the internet. <laughs> uh, uh, Stevie Rampage asked, are all surfaces climbable Zelda style, or do you have to find cracks on the walls and, and whatnot like previous games? Almost all of them are, yeah. but not Zelda style. It's definitely not, not Zelda style, you can't climb, but, but it's most. the most Zelda style. I would, or it's the most you, you can climb. Of the Assassin's Creed yes. games, yeah. But you can't climb everything. It's, it's really weird going from playing Breath of the Wild to playing something else and being like, what do you mean I can't climb yeah. this? Like, who are you kidding? Why can't I climb this? So Judge Jimma just said, maybe stop paying attention to YouTube chat. It was Mixer who called me the C-word. I like the idea that I can <laughs> just make these chats all fight off against each other. Is there like the, the streaming yeah, platform the console wars? Yeah, like we just make them fight. Like this happened the last time I used Mixer as well. Like it was just people said terrible things and we're like, Mixer is better! I'm like, you called me the C-word. <laughs> I don't know what I'm just saying. Uh, Steve994 on Twitch asks, how's the AI? Uh, I think the AI is actually pretty impressive. It gets smarter as the game goes on, but mm -hmm. it also, like, an example of that is they know to shoot um, an arrow, like, several steps before you and to predict where you will be next, so... Um, I think the AI is pretty good. I think the AI is so good that you could fall in love with it, like Ryan Gosling in 2042. Uh, what, who falls in love with him? In the, in the movie? Falls in love. But you said that it's so good that you, you could, could fall, fall in, in love, love with it, like Ryan Gosling fell in love with it. Oh, I thought you meant that... Someone fell in love with Ryan I'm Gosling. in love with a character in this game. His name is my hammer. <laughs> What's the hammer's actual name? Does it have like a weapon? Oh, uh, I haven't named her yet. No, what is its actual name? Oh, not the crappy dumb. name you would give it, like, like my it darling. Serpent's Rainbow or some trash like that. I, I have that, that, that. That's way cooler than Serpent's Rainbow. <laughs> this is gonna be tough. I'm gonna steal this cart. And now every chat is just mad that I'm not reading that chat. Trust me, I'm reading all these chats. Um, what is your favorite weapon? I really liked the, I keep forgetting what they're called, sickle? Yeah. Um, so. just like the kind of faster type of sword that, uh, did bleeding down. I don't know, it worked! <laughs> you guys are supposed to uh, yeah, the other dude noticed you. Oh, no. That was pretty great though, I like, you just got into his hay bale and then killed him well, in oh, solo Oh, chill, chill, everybody chill. Oh man, I gotta do a U-turn, and you know what's not great? Do a U-turn with all these the horses. Uh, PSN Cool Kitty asks, do you have any information about the Trials of God DLC that comes out after? Not a ton. Mm, no. I don't think so. It seems like a lot of the DLC is like airing into the Supernatural, which has been kind of a yeah. thing. Like a lot of the DLC for uh, Syndicate was Black, or Jack the Ripper stuff. I mean, that's not sort of off the beat path. And, oh no, this is that mission I tried to do and I kept running my horses into the river. Cause you gotta get him down by the- Ooh, this isn't gonna be good. I don't know if I did this one. So you gotta get him down there, and I- not, Man, these horses fell into the river several times for me. Uh... Bartek Gaming HD said, Alana, did you play the ACR outside screen? If yes, how much cost more? Is it set or cool? You mean Origin? You asked me if I played Revelation. I imagine Again, these. yes, I have played 50 hours of this game. And entirely outside of the stream, and uh, I haven't Don't played that much Shadow of War, conflict. so I can't really talk about that, but I do think there are a lot of things. Oh no! Uh, Dark Rose, yes, you can control the animals, have them as friends. You don't, like, possess them or whatever. Why aren't you on fire? You are on fire, my friend. Uh, XRT7 asks, how come in the early gameplay Bayek had short hair, but in this he has long hair, did he have his hair later in the game? So it's actually, um, no, the early game he has the long hair. Yeah, a lot of the footage you saw from like a preview event recently was further into the game. Yeah. Uh, he gets a good haircut actually in like the next main quest. Mm -hmm. Speak to that priest. We are not doing, so. Speak to priest. Does that man. One cut of food, priest. As asked for. The Pharaoh's guards were... Happy to donate it. We have 15 minutes left of the stream. Friendly reminder, if there's any questions you want answered to, tweet them with the, hash tweet them with the hashtag IGN plays live. I'll do my best to get in the chat steps, and um, what to get in the hashtag and answer and more you, Magi. Friend George 
asks us, does it feel like its own game or a greatest hits of the AC series? Definitely feels like its own game. Agreed. Who asked that? I got a Twitter notification. George, oh. George left us. Come to trivia. Helped out with our Call of Duty guy. Good man. G'day, George. What did I do? Did I, oh, I won. What did, what did I do? Oh, I won. Yeah. I need to avenge Zepedi. Where's this man? There's also probably a bunch of quests around here that you can just kind of walk towards. Oh, yeah. Always. You could do uh, you could do the the viewpoint. You want to? Oh, where's that here? There? Um, yeah, looks like it. It might be a little bit further away, but it's definitely in that direction. Yeah, I don't think we've we don't. Oh, we did one sink. We'll do a sink here. You can do it all. The sink might be at the library. I think the sink is on top of the building that's on the top. Of the I don't think it's at the library. Have you ever been to a library? Yeah, I've been to a few libraries, yeah. Not the Library of Alexandria. Well, I mean, they did rebuild that library, <coughs> but it doesn't count. Was it? This is an example of something that won't let you climb for the posting mouse before, like, there are things you can't. Yeah. And that's kind of because it's a slanted hill. Um, I think it's just on top of... Yeah. For whatever reason, I remember doing that one. PSN Cool Kitty, yes, this is the complete game. Uh, Kevin Taylor, no, you cannot change his accent. No, I want to, I kind of like his accent. Yeah. Big Burger Head Pizza asks, what do you rate this game? We are not allowed to talk, to that, talk about that until Thursday at 4 a.m. Uh, PT, and that will be when the review and the store are live. I think that's what a bunch of stuff. We'll have a bunch of videos, we'll have some cool, some cool Easter eggs. Yeah. Christmas, some Christmas hams. Basically everything but what we're showing right now. Uh, Jedi Mind Trick 50 asks, has the stealth improved significantly? Um, no. The stealth's pretty much the same. Yeah. I don't think it's, it's changed really no, much. No, it's the same sort of you blend into the, to the fauna. The good bushes? To the flora, I guess. Well, you can blend into either. You remember that time that you got inside that hippo spot? Yeah. You know what? Blend in whatever you want. What do you think I'm going to dive into? Good that point. pool. Not into a hippo spot. Dive into it? Incredible. What's wrong with this pot? Can I set, can I set the water on fire? Look, I set the water on fire. Oh wow, you really did. That was pretty cool. Well, that is a thing. There's oil on the top of water. That's supposed to be like terrifying. To try and get up, but there's fire on the I can't imagine. It's like, do you want to drown or burn? Yeah. Enjoy. Um, oh, do this. Camel. You better get up this staircase. There he is. What a good man. So dumb, he really, him. you really never can see where he's coming from. It's incredible. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, avenge Pays that LP. Rat Nani asks, have you played the hard difficulty? Yes, I did play the hard difficulty just to test it out. And, uh, yeah, it's tough. I didn't. Sounds too scary. Just him? Just him. The guards here are vigilant. Oh, that was not the bow I thought it was. That was a terrible move on my part. Now then that was just fire. None of that went well. No, I think you're doing great. No, zero of that went as I planned. Well, they hadn't seen you, though. Why did you just run out in front of them? Well, because this is the man I need to kill. But they still didn't know you were there. I'm going to lure him. I'm going to lure him. Oh, man. Oh, no, there's a man on a horse. You though. know how you know it's an RPG? If, if you get really annoyed watching someone else play, then it's probably an RPG. Or it's just playing games with me. Could be that, too. I liked when you tried to swing the, the, the good hammer at him, even though he was several meters away. Oh, the Brazzers was lit. They lit the Brazzers. Yikes. Yeah. One, I think uh, this didn't go well. No, I agree. Yeah, it's, no, it didn't go well at all. The keep Have you considered running up a building so that you're not would like, just, I would like just, to. just run sideways? Ah, uh, I ran away from the men. Now I will hide with all my right, friends. there you go. Maybe do a good crouch. I would probably get on top of the building. So if you're, if the guy who is like your objective to kill walks past, uh, you do a good, good jump on him. 
Ooh, can I jump that far? He's got a lot of health. Yeah, that was, that's a that's a major amount. There you go. Now bail again, now and then you get a confirmed, confirmed, confirmed kill. kill. I would leave. I would definitely that's leave. That's what cowards do. Yeah, but otherwise you'll die. Like sometimes when you're close to death, it's like okay to be a coward for a bit. Like it's just rational. Okay, nailed it. Good best. Is that LP? You're welcome. What are these guys doing? Is this guy getting a massage? Nope, oh, he's dead. No. Uh, Corey Martin, to answer your question, um, the review will not have any spoilers, so don't worry about that. Um, I've been very careful not to have any spoilers. Go to the lighthouse. We can, we can sort of end it at the lighthouse. All right. That was a wonder of the ancient that world. That seems like a good thing to do. Yeah, we've got 10 minutes left of the stream. Again, people ask me a lot of the same questions. Um, feel free to ask them on Twitter with the hashtag IGN plays live, and I will go in there and answer a couple more questions. So. Um, someone asked how we would rate the Assassin's Creed series up till now. I'm going to be honest, if you had asked that two hours ago, I would have been for it. I would have been like, you know, we can spend the next hour talking about this, but aside from that, it's quite hard to answer, especially retrospectively. Plum. Orange, tangerine, mm -hmm. strawberry. You know there are, there are ten of them. Uh, what's the worst fruit? Uh, pomegranate. I think yeah. All pomegranate right, three. So like I pomegranate. I don't like grapes very much. Watermelon. That's a that's a good one. We're counting Black rogue. Black flag is a watermelon. We're counting yeah. You count rogue. Rogue. It's like a, a Bing cherry. Um. All right. It's like a, a ambitious but flawed fruit for unity. Okay. Um, what, what fruit's a little bit ambitious? Ambitious but flawed? One of, uh, one of those star fruit? Yeah, star fruit. Yeah. Uh, syndicate is a fruit that I love that no one eats. So like a... Like a peach, maybe? Yeah. That's yeah, nosh on a peach. Yeah. And then this is a banana. Obviously. So, there you go. Nail it. That's on your rating system. Oh, no, no. Uh, syndicate is tomato. Because a tomato is a fruit, and it's confusing, but very good. Tomatoes are fine. Tomatoes are incredible. What are you talking about? They're just below onions in terms of best things. Uh, Animate Life. So, wow. Uh, do you have games assigned to you to review at IGN, or do you get to ask for a specific game? I had been asking to review this for two years. Like, literally before the game had a title, I was like, I want to review the next Assassin's Creed game. So, um, yeah, we get asked. And... We have this doc where you can put your name next to the games that you would like to review so that you can request them. And then our reviews editor is like, hey, we have this in. Who's free to do this? And then we figure it out. And a lot of it's based on time. And sometimes, like, the UK or the AU teams will get code before us. And so, so what they get it earlier, that? Yeah. Um, sometimes, like, if no one else can do it, um, we have to get a freelancer. <laughs> that have, like, specialties in certain things like fighting games or sports games yep. that maybe someone in-house doesn't. Yeah, we um, don't have a lot of sports game fans. We also generally try to get someone you generally review a game that you are excited about, that you would like to play, not something that you would like never play. I mean, I've had ones that I like, indie games that I was like, yeah, I'm vaguely interested in this, yeah. but generally they want someone who is an expert on the series. <laughs> so they want someone who can Found um, it. compare Found it. Sphinx. In all of its glory. Andrew Yusuf asks, how big is the world? It is bigger than all of the other Assassin's Creed games. I cannot give you a scale compared to other game worlds because that would require like putting a map over a map. I don't know. My brain doesn't work that way. Uh, Corey Martin, you can have multiple save files, yes. Must be careful now. I'm hiding. You cannot shave and cut your hair at will. That is not. Uh, yeah, in real life, you can. In real life, you can do whatever you want. I like these things. Did you ever mess with these things? I didn't use them very much. Oh, dude, I, I, I cleared out a couple garrisons like hardcore with these. I like, oh, I'll shoot this man. Look at this. Look at this captain. Oh, that was just a terrible shot on my part. Yeah, this Mitchell thing's great. At well, at least he didn't notice you, though. Wow, what an idiot. But that just does, he like... He just kind of stared you down and that just took it. crazy damage. Uh, I'm going to try to this thing. All right. This is... All right. Wow. 
Ooh, boy. You, 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 just, you just don't even care about the stealth. Yeah, so sometimes when it has that, that slow-mo and it has that noise, it gives you um, a small window to get in its stealth attack. Uh, Steve Kuga on makes us that I would love to see on co-op. As far as I know, there isn't any co-op. Like, quite positive there is not any co-op. Yeah, I feel like Unity definitely tried to do the, the thing. It didn't quite work. Oh, no. Yeah, that definitely didn't work in Australia because everyone's internet's so bad. We tried to play co-op, oh, it really? didn't work at all. It was terrible. No! Um, Michael Nunn said, does upgrading weapons change weapon appearances in ACU? I mean, if you change weapons, they look different, but no, upgrading a weapon at a, at a blacksmith will not change. Is there a man shooting at me from above? Yeah. All right, this is definitely this is this is AC being AC. Climbing this building is actually um. This is like feels puzzly. Well, I was gonna say you have to do this again at some point. This is a, a thing that you have to do. Spoilers. They keep shooting me right in the ass. I have so many arrows. Well, in my ass. I mean, they are below you, so where else would they shoot really? The ass. The non ass. I tolerate you. <laughs> well, I guess our friendship in a nutshell. <laughs> I tolerate you. <laughs> can I enter this? Yeah, you can. Ooh, ooh indeed. Ooh, ooh. Oh, boy! How did that happen? I hit the circle. You hit the circle the twice? Is that because of Shadow of Wall? That sucks. Good thing that that, that was a convenient little. I feel like they play there. tested and were like, "All right, idiots are gonna do this." No, I want to go in. I now, think. what if you stood in the fire and then climbed over the spikes? How did you do that? It's the hammer. That's one of the hammer's perks. Oh, gotcha. Wow, the hammer's really growing on me. Yeah, thank you. I think this is the uh, highest point in Alexandria that you're at right now. I believe so. Um, someone asked if Desmond is in this game. I don't even know if I want to answer that. What if I, I chin scratch? Who's Desmond? Desmond Miles. Desmond Hume from Lost? Oh, there's not even a sink point up here? Where? It's just... Just there. It's sticking out of the building. You just, you just went up too high. It should work. It's real windy up here, huh? Yeah, you can hear all the flushes. What's going on inside here? Just some some sticks are going on. <laughs> some stickery. It. Yeah, there's a lot of sticks. We have two minutes left of the stream. Thank you everyone for joining us. Um, again, you can tweet at us with the, ha with the hashtag IGN plays live, and I'll do my best to answer more of your questions. What a beautiful circular synchronization. I think the synchronization in this game is much cooler. I agree. This also feeds into Senua. Or Senu. It's Senua also, is this is the first. Blade. <laughs> <laughs> it's also the first game where um, the eagles don't fly above a sync point. And the idea is because of Origins, the logic is like you are the first person to fly with an eagle at those points. So the eagles start getting towards those points in the later slash earlier games. In the later time periods because of Senua. What? Okay. Assassin's Creed law. I think it's cool. Yeah. One minute left, everyone. Again, um, any more questions you have, free, feel free to ask them on Twitter. I am at Cheryl Amazad. Marty is at McBiggity. Mm -hmm. Our review will be up Thursday at 4 a.m. Pacific time uh, in California here. Oh, well, that's so a we're gonna be taking a uh, We're going to be taking a one-hour break, but then we're going to be coming back at 1 p.m. and we're going to be streaming Destiny 2 on PC. I did not know that. All right. We'll I don't think you. I made that up. We'll, all right. We'll see you at, uh, at one when people are playing Destiny 2 in peace. It's yeah. exciting stuff. All right. See you guys. Bye.